Yeah. Can you please uh, punch whether uh, uh, yes. You need to <coughs> Uh, please refresh the browser. Please refresh the browser doc. Yes. <clears throat> Hope everyone <clears throat> is able to get back the stream. Yes. Now, what is the treatment of <clears throat> Staghorn calculus? with a mild hydronephrosis is the examiner's question. Yes. Sorry for a short interruption. Uh, all of you please uh, re-log in. Yeah. So we should remember that uh, the staghorn calculus is a very big one. So that is the reason always percutaneous nephrolithostomy. So PCNL is considered to be the best choice. Now doctor. <clears throat> PCNL. What are the various indications for the PCNL is my question to all of you. <clears throat> Staghorn calicli and a large renal stone burden, especially more than 3 cm. PCNL is good. If it is a large lower pole renal calculus. PCNL is good for the cystine stones PCNL is good and uh, if there are any abnormalities of the renal and upper tract anatomy like calesial diverticula or if there is any malformed kidney like a horseshoe kidney then it become a um, very good choice hope uh, all of our online students have no trouble in relogging. Can you please check? No trouble in relogging, right? Huh. So, uh, Satya, is relogging his easy job or uh, did we lose our uh, online classmates? Okay, very good. <clears throat> now, if there is any ureteroscopy failure, or if extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy, if there is any failure, that is an indication for the percutaneous nephrolithostomy is what you need to remember. And uh, in a transplanted kidney, if there is any nephrolithiasis, then also PCNL is a good choice is what you should remember. <clears throat> so some of you are going to be top urologists after doing MS general surgery. <clears throat> so you should be very sure that PCNL ka indications kya hai? AIMS examiner ke question bank mein baita hua hai. So you got to be very sure. <clears throat> so you'll be placing a small hole for a big stone and a very large stone you can be able to fragment it with the laser and can be able to remove it. And uh, it is done under general anesthesia Typical duration is one to three hours and a hospital stay of three days. That is what you have to remember. Now, doctor. Systemic inflammatory response syndrome. What are all the classical features of it? Temperature more than 38 degrees Celsius. This had been the favorite question of the examiner from times immemorial. Respiratory rate. Uh, the pulse rate more than 90, WBC more than 11,000 or less than 4,000, they are all the important uh, part of the definition. So a respiratory rate more than 20 and a PSEO2 which is typically diminished because of the hyperventilation, hypocarbia, tachycardia more than 90 beats per minute. And a WBC count more than 12,000 or less than 4,000. That defines the 
Systemic inflammatory response syndrome is what you have to basically remember. Then how about the sepsis? If the systemic inflammatory response syndrome can occur because of many reasons, even if you have acute pancreatitis also, you can have SIRS. But if the SIRS is because of a severe infection, you have a positive evidence of the bacteria which is confirmed by the blood culture, then that becomes the sepsis. And if the bacteria are able to float, butterfly swimming, backstroke, they are nicely floating in the blood, then you call it as bacteremia. And because of the sepsis, if the systolic BP is less than 90, then you call it as the sepsis induced hypotension. And the moment this sepsis induced hypotension is associated with other features of lactic acidosis, oliguria, altered mental status, that becomes the septic shock. And uh, when there is a dysfunction of the kidneys, liver, lungs, heart, that becomes the multi-organ dysfunction syndrome. So you have to be very sure on all these definitions, doctor. Right? So now, what is the most common mediastinal tumor? This is a beautiful question, doctor. Question number 101. 101. Can you please punch uh, your answers, everybody who are all online? Can you please punch your answers? Most common mediastinal tumor kya hota hai? Medicos says thymoma. Satya says thymoma. Himanshu Gupta and Simi Ansari. Jindawa. So this is the very controversial question because if the examiner asks you most common anterior mediastinal tumor kya hai then your answer should be thymoma thymoma because thymoma occurs only in adults whereas it doesn't occur in the children whereas neurogenic tumors jo hota hai adults mein bhi hota hai aur bachcho mein bhi hota hai Isliye, the most common mediastinal, overall mediastinal tumor, all mediastina put together is the neurogenic tumors, is what you have to basically remember. So, Dr. Thymomas, where are they located? They are located in the anterior and superior mediastinum, most common, two thirds are malignant. Male to female ratio is equal, 30 to 50 years is the common age group. And, uh, they can be associated with uh, myasthenia gravis, PRCA, pure red cell aplasia, that's called diamond black fun syndrome, digeorge, carcinoid, eaton lambert, myocarditis, thyroidoxicosis. It is associated with all of them, is what you have to basically remember. After parotidectomy, patient complains of a loss of sensation while shaving. What is the most likely possibility is the examiner question. Please keep punching your answers, doctor. So always a live online interactive session with a chat window. Wow, I should call this the greatest invention of the 21st century, right? Last 20 years, I have seen so many ways of teaching. Blackboard ke upar likna, Overhead projector ke upar slide lagana, PowerPoint slide lagana, bade classrooms with 300, 400 students. But the most effective interactive is always live online. Every student is in, uh, every student and teacher, it is almost a one is to one ratio with everyone, right? So uh, that's a great advantage. Anywhere you can sit comfortably and can be able to enjoy the live online class. So don't forget, click on the subscribe button of this YouTube channel and uh, also put uh, a notification bell on. Every day 7 p.m. to 12 p.m. or 11 p.m. we have a live online interactive discussion. Rose, one or the other topic we will be chasing around 100 MCQs and uh, that keeps you on and motivated. 
Now, doctor, <coughs> great auricular nerve. Always remember, entire face ka sensory supply jo hota hai, doctor, the entire face ka supply is given by trigeminal. But at the area of the skin overlying the mandible, right? Mandible. That is the place where great auricular nerve is the one which supplies. So the great auricular nerve originates from the cervical plexus C to C3 and the inferior part of the auricle and the area overlying the parotid gland, the area is supplied by the great auricular nerve is what you have to remember. Now doctor, <clears throat> most common functional neuroendocrine tumor of the pancreas, any given day it is the <clears throat> insulinoma. When you get insulinoma, you have a Whipple's triad, sudden episodes of triad, hypoglycemia with all the symptoms of sympathetic uh, activation like sweating etc palpitations and if you happen to give, make the person ingest sugar, all these symptoms vanish, the Whipple's triad of the insulinoma is what you have to basically remember. So, Satish Lenka clean bowl by saying gastrinoma, but it is insulinoma. See doctor, these are such a favorite questions, standard questions. Aap neat PG to 2020 gaye to bhi yehi rehta story. Kuch bhi nahi, special nahi rehta exam. Toda photos dete, videos dete, right? But fundamental concept jo hota hai, yehi hota hai. So that is the reason. <coughs> All your effort next four months should be to master the 953 topics which are there on the online mbbs.com. We have the 953 topics video discussion and uh, PBD at least 20-25 questions in the last 15 years. What were the questions asked in each of these topics? Once you listen that logic uh, automatically you know how to crack the examiner's score. Right, Doc? Now, a patient presented with multiple rib fractures. He is conscious, speaking single words. Respiratory rate was 40 per minute. BP was 90 by 40. What is your next immediate step uh, is the examiner's question. Multiple rib fractures is a risk factor for pneumothorax. Pneumothorax. And... Uh, uh, typically, he is also developed hypotension. That means it is tension pneumothorax. Tension pneumothorax may either or not dekna. Needle is inserted into the second intercostal space, and uh, you will immediately provide the opening up of the airway and the ventilation to get achieved is what you need to basically remember. Undescended test is hai. Aap diagnostic laparoscopy kar rahe. It's a very common scenario. See, unfortunately, what happens is super speciality ke liye question bank banata hai examiner. Urology entrance ka. Usme se questions undergraduate standard mein hona hai ideally. The need to be the entrance. Magar super speciality ka MCQ zake need to be the exam mein slip ho jata. Fir bhi, aap guesswork, uh, you need to have, uh, you need to make a guesswork. Exam is all about uh, common sense guesswork with a good preparation for the standard 90% question paper. Simple logic, right? So, on the right side, there are blind ending testicular vessels, vast difference, they are being formed. Then what is the next step? This is a very practical urology super speciality MCQ hai. Fir bhi, Nothing to be done. Master lean activity. Nothing to be done. Right? So, if there is any intra abdominal blind ending cord structure, no further exploration is required, is what you have to basically understand. What is the percentage of the surgical site infection rate if there is a clean contaminated wound after antibiotic prophylaxis? This is purely numerical question. No guesswork will help. 
खाली लॉटरी में जैसे आप लॉटरी टिकट लिए तो एक नंबर मिलता ये नंबर वाला क्वेश्चन है राइट सो यू शुड रिमेम्बर हाउ डू वी क्लासिफाई द वूम्स वेरी गुड टू सी 90 ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट्स आपके साथियों को भी बुलाना राइट right? अकेले मत आना बिकॉज नॉलेज इज मैं टू बी फ्री नॉलेज इज मैं टू बी शेयर नॉलेज इज मैं टू बी इफ यू गिव नॉलेज इट रिटर्न बैक टू यू इन थ्री टाइम्स दट्स वॉट माई ग्रैंड पार्ट टोल्ड राइट सो दट्स रीजन ऑल दीज एफर्ट्स डॉक्टर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर नीट पी जी एग्जाम एंड ऑल इट्स अ टीम एफर्ट टूमोरो एज ए कंसल्टेंट आर यू गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस एलोन Are you going to operate few chromosomes alone? No, no. You'll have an anesthetist guy. Unko bulana padta, right? If he loves to have a single malt scotch, scotch de na padta. You have to be very friendly with all your colleagues. It's a teamwork. Ultimately, that helps you to uh, live as a consultant tomorrow, right? So that's the reason. Please join if you have not yet joined in our um, WhatsApp study group. Wow, there's a lot of material, lot of questions, volleying continuously. So you get an opportunity to be part of the wonderful academic group. Class one is clean, hernia, breast, hip, hip, knee. No entry into gastrointestinal, gynecological, or respiratory tract. Then infection rate is less than two percent. Clean contaminated is class two. Cholecystectomy, bowel resection. There is a elective entry. Antibiotics. They say, "Ah, elective entry. Kar rahe hain. GI, gyne, gynecological, biliary, and respiratory tract. Waha less than ten percent do that. Contaminated. Contaminated. So there is a gross contamination or spillage. Trauma wounds, fifteen to twenty percent." Dirty infected like diverticulitis or a empyema. If you operate it, it is thirty to forty percent. Yaro, isu ko ek photo kinch lena, aur dima ke andar bhi ek photo kinch lena, aur ye percentages ke saath thayar rehna. Khel ke examiner need PG twenty twenty me yehi puchega. Personal protective equipment. Be careful. This is a tricky question. Removing, removing. What is the order in which you remove? Wearing. What is the order in which you will be wearing? Examiner, removing pucha or wearing pucha? That is very important, doctor. Right? Ha. So remember, sequence for removing the personal protective environment equipment is gloves first. Goggles are the face shield next, gown after that, and mask or respirator after that. कपड़ों कैसे उतारना कैसे पहना एक order रहता है अगर आप surgeon बन गए तो, right? So whether you get MS, general surgery seat or not is decided by you know whether what is the correct order of stripping, correct order of wearing, right? So, gloves, goggles, gown, then mask. That is the order of removing. Acha bhai, how will you put on? How will you put on? Uh, what is the sequence? Gown first, mask, then goggles, then comes the gloves. Is the order in which you will be wearing. That's what you have to be hundred percent sure about, doctor. Which is not a component of Q so far. ये एक indicator जरूर पूछेगा. Need PG examiner हो, AIMS हो, FMG हो, जो भी हो. Q so far, curb B, curb 60, curb 60. They are all the important indices of a acute clinical stage like pneumonia, severity scoring, etc., etc. इसलिए आपको ये बराबर याद रखना है क्यों सोफा में रहता है एबनॉर्मल मेंटल स्टेटस रेस्पिरेटरी रेट मोर देन 22 टू एंड सिस्टोलिक बीपी लेस देन 100 एंड इफ देर इज इफ द स्कोर इज मोर देन वन देन दैट इज सक्सेस एंड द मोर्टैलिटी चांसेस बिकम 
ten percent. Then what is the curb sixty five score? Typically, there is confusion, respiratory rate more than thirty, systolic BP less than ninety, diastolic BP less than sixty, blood urea nitrogen elevated, and age. These are the ones. Age more than sixty five. इसलिए इसको कहते हैं कर्ब 65 स्कोरिंग इज व्हाट यू हैव टू एम्फेटिकली रिमेंबर आपका 200 पेजेस नोटबुक रेडी है ना राइट बराबर सो उसमें ये चीजें लिखना साथी के साथ अच्छा पेड़ के नीचे बैठ के अच्छा हवा आ रहे राइट वेरी रोमांटिक वेदर भैया कर्ब 65 क्या है हाँ लिखो डिस्कस करो कैसे रिमेंबर करना इंटरल्यूकिन वन क्या करता टू क्या करता फोर क्या करता विच इज स्नोफिलिक स्टिमुलेंट देर इज नो अदर सीक्रेट देन दिस पावरफुल 200 हंड्रेड पेजेस नोटबुक हर एक के पास रहना चाहिए डॉक्टर आपको टॉप रैंक आने के बाद डॉक्टर मुरली भरद्वाज को देना हम उसको नेशनल एसेट बनाएंगे ठीक है और सारे स्टूडेंट्स को दे देंगे सो दैट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डॉक्टर नाउ With regard to thyroglossal cyst, what is the correct statement? Typically, the thyroglossal cyst, thyroglossal cyst, it resolves spontaneously in about twenty to thirty percent cases. Now we need to talk about each of these uh, statements. If forty percent is or twenty percent is, this is what examiner is very cringy on the numericals. So, 20% of cases may thyroglossal duct cyst will be having the thyroid tissue is what you have to basically remember. Usually, thyroglossal duct cyst is asymptomatic, occasionally infected by the oral bacteria. And what is the lining, doctor? That is what examiner is asking. What is the lining epithelium? It is not non-ciliary stratified squamous. What is it? It is lined by columnar cuboidal epithelium. Is what you need to basically remember. That is the lining of the thyroglossal cyst. Is what you need to understand. Typically, when does the thyroglossal duct obliterate? Seven to ten weeks. Examiner ne kya diya? Examiner ne. सोच रहे हैं कि आपको मालूम नहीं है एटीन वीक सोचेगा सोच रहे हैं एटीन वीक तक कहां वेट करेगा इट इज ऑलरेडी इट इज ऑलरेडी सेवन टू टेन वीक्स बाय विच देर इज एब्लिटरेशन इज वॉट यू हैव टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर सो नाउ डॉक्टर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डज नॉट क्लासिफाई एज लोकली एडवांस्ड ब्रेस्ट कैंसर so always any standard exam jo hota hai certain things are so standard that without that there is no question paper theek okay? hai so out of out of 300 mcqs in the tomorrow's need to pg 2020 250 topics reserved hai without them there is no paper at all right hum aapko 953 topics diya high yield topics in the ऑनलाइन एमबीबीएस डॉट कॉम वीडियो लाइब्रेरी में अकॉर्डिंग टू वन ट्वेंटी डे प्रोग्राम है एवरी डे हमने सेवन एट टॉपिक्स अरेंज करके दे दिया आपको उसमें टू फिफ्टी टॉपिक स्टैंडर्ड है एग्जामिनर का फिफ्टी टॉपिक्स जो होता है रिमेनिंग सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड एटी सिक्स हंड्रेड एटी और सेवन हंड्रेड टॉपिक से तो क्यों पढ़ना पड़ता है सेवन हंड्रेड टॉपिक्स को ये फिफ्टी को आंसर करने के लिए फिफ्टी कैन कम फ्रॉम एनी ऑफ द सेवन हंड्रेड बट टू फिफ्टी आर स्टैंडर्ड और कॉन्सेप्ट टू पिल्स ये सब चीजें वेरी स्टैंडर्ड सो वेरी गुड सिमी अंसारी सत्या यू आर ऑल डिफरिंग बिटवीन बी वर्सेस डी बी वर्सेस डी वेरी गुड बट द आंसर इज ये डॉक्टर लेट इज लुक इन टू इट वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ Locally advanced breast cancer, large tumor more than five centimeters, not four. 
extended regional node involvement and a direct involvement of the underlying chest. Skin edema, ulceration, satellite nodules confined to the same breast and the tumors considered inoperable but which don't have a distant metastasis. Any inflammatory breast cancer or the stage 3A, 3B, 3C and uh, these are the things that define the locally advanced breast cancer is what you have to basically remember. I am so happy to see 100 and 108 online students. Please call all your other friends also in the WhatsApp groups everywhere. You have your classmates. Today we should touch double century. Which is the scoring system which is used for the wound infection? Another very standard question. Right? So, the standard questions with the doctor is called a name. Lagayenge hum. Roti, kapda, makan questions. Matlab, minimum requirement to survive is what? Roti, kapda, makan. So, roti, kapda, makan bhi nahi hai to we are like a destitute on the street. E itna standard questions ko agar wrong kare to iska matlab hai roti, kapda, makan nahi hai hamare paas. E roti, kapda, makan question hai. Right? So, be very sure. <coughs> so, what is your answer doctor? It is called as uh, South Hampton's score is a very very important question, right? So, what does Southampton say? Zero is normal healing. Normal healing with the mild bruising or erythema banega one. Erythema plus other signs of inflammation two. If there is a clear discharge, 3, purulent discharge, 4, or if there is a deep or severe wound infection, that typically become 5 is what you need to basically remember. So what is the most common artery which is involved in pseudo aneurysm? AB, Roti, Kapda, Makan, RKM question hai. So femoral artery, femoral artery is what you have to basically remember. So doctor, this is a typical pseudo aneurysm in a femoral artery in a lot of procedures. If you happen to do the imaging, tomorrow NEET PG 2020 may puchega. By imaging kia, this guy has underwent a coronary intervention through the femoral vessel. After that, he developed this. E kya ho sakta, bolke examiner puchega aapko. Aapko kya answer karega? Femoral aneurysm, peripheral aneurysm. So this is another example of a right femoral artery pseudo aneurysm after a percutaneous transfemoral coronary angioplasty is what you need to remember. A chronic alcohol came with pain in epigastrium, recurrent vomiting and uh, there is a guarding in the upper epigastrium, chest x-ray was normal. What is the next step that you want to do? Obviously. It is a case of pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis ko evaluate karna bole to serum lipase is a good screening test. That is what you need to basically remember. Very good. Satish Lenka, Purika, Sai Krishna, everyone. See, if you see lot of our classmates are answering means that qualifies to be roti, kapda, makan question, biscuit question, right? So you should be quite sure. Such questions, hum wrong the right karna. Karna hai to, it is a time to introspect, to get serious with the preparation. So if you look at the lipase levels, doctor, how do the lipase levels? They increase in four to eight hours. They peak in twenty-four hours, and uh, the level decrease in eight to fourteen days. And it remains elevated longer than MLAs. Longer than MLAs. That is what you have to remember. Then, if it is MLAs, typically in the blood, it increases in 2 to 12 hours, peaks in 12 to 72 hours, and it normalizes in 3 to 4 days, and it is detectable elevated for about 14 days. That is the MLAs, is what you need to remember 
नो डाउट प्रोस्ट्रेट कैंसर सेंट्रल जोन से नहीं आएगा पेरिफरल जोन प्रोस्ट्रेट के पेरिफरल जोन इज द मोस्ट कॉमन लोकेशन फ्रॉम वेयर द प्रोस्ट्रेट कैंसर एराइज हिस्टोलॉजिकल ग्रेडिंग बेसिकली इज डन विद द ग्लीसन स्कोर the most common type of the prostate cancer is not squamous but you know it is a hormone dependent uh, growth of the prostate cancer so peripheral zone say 70% of the prostate cancers arise they surround the distal urethra is what you need to remember central zone 25% and they surround the ejaculatory duct and transition zone 5% and this around the proximal urethra is what you need to remember acha bhaiya a peripheral prostate ka what are the different zones you have an anterior zone doctor this one agree then this is the transitional zone this one and then this is the urethra which is coming out and this is called the central zone and this is the peripheral zone so this peripheral zone is the one if you do the parietal examination you can be able to feel that enlarged prostate is what you have to basically remember now you identify the condition which is being shown here so underneath the breast there is a painful cord like structure which is typically the thrombophlebitis of the superficial vein of the breast which is called as the mondor's disease is what you need to remember now a 6 year old child with a developmental delay can ride a tricycle can climb the stairs up stairs and down stairs with alternate foot and she can say the name she knows her sex but cannot narrate a story what is the developmental age and small remember doctor 300 mcqs mein 250 topics are itna standard hai ki itna standard hai this developmental milestone also agar developmental milestone nahi pad ke koi exam ko gaya to it is as good as he did not go to exam at all right utna standard hai there is no surprise about it so doctor three years what is the important uh, part of the story he walks up stairs with alternating feet pedals a tricycle jumps forward is the gross motor drawing a circle teen saal pe hota hai three years he feeds self without help and he grips a crayon with the fingers instead of fist so he will start becoming a teacher from third year itself even if he is third year itself you should start uh, no more holding the finger with the grip you should start holding it uh, the chalk with the fingers three to four word sentences why 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 this kolavaridi why bol ke question third year se shuru hota hai bachchon mein typically you will be in your md third year when your child is in third year of its age aap aapke professor ko why puchna band kar deta aapka beta aapko why puchna shuru karta right so that is the deal then he typically uh, knows his age and he starts associative play and toilet trained except wiping so that is what happens in the third year is what you have to basically remember so now doc once more there is a standard set of 120 single liners in the developmental milestones doctor topic of developmental milestones aap online mbbs.com video library mein pediatrics mein gaye to aapko developmental milestone ke bare mein pura 
all entrance exams we ordered all the questions that have been given we have debated discussed and powerpoint is also made available you can do the review but you should have your own 200 pages notebook mein likhe hue milestones ready rehna hai kal ke exam ke liye that is the deal between all of us good to see 115 online students for this historical aims may 2019 discussion whenever you are doing neonatal resuscitation effectively kiya ya nahi kiya kaise pata chalega aapko what is the parameter it is the heart rate so whenever you do the neonatal resuscitation uh, doc you continue the chest and coordinated ventilations for at least 45 to 60 seconds before stopping briefly to check the heart rate you can assess the heart rate at the umbilical stump and uh, if at all the heart rate rises above 60 discontinue the compressions and you continue the positive ventilation until the heart rate is above 100 that is the typical protocol in the case of the neonatal resuscitation heart rate is the gold standard which is the guiding force for you a child presents with brown colored urine oliguria his blood pressure is 126 by 90 few granular cause granular cause ka importance kya hai doctor granular cause jo rehte hai urine sediment mein it is called as angry urine sediment angry urine sediment matlab kidney bahut naraz hai right isliye urine examination ko hum light na ko lena a urine examination report hai na bolke nahi sochna urine examination report is called poor man's renal biopsy doctor jiske paas paise nahi hai aapke needle ke sath renal biopsy ke liye urine examination gives a lot of clue so that granular cusps always indicate that there is a inflammatory reaction happening in the glomerulus is what you need to remember. So this is a case of uh, post streptococcal glomerulonephritis. The classical smoky colored urine is what you have to basically remember. Now doctor, seizure. Aims examiner suddenly plab ke jaise ho jayega, plab examiner ke jaise, right? So, ek theme de na, options de na, we are evolving in our assessment process. But always remember, toughest MCQ always is a single liner. Image based questions, clinical variant based questions, theme based questions, so crack kar sakte, very easily. Single liner hota na, external artery meatus ka length kitra hai, uswe cartilage kitra hai, slow sand filter mein sand particle ka size kitra hai, haru ka. Depression aata. You feel like uh, jumping into a pit. Single liners are most difficult. Yes, you can, you can. Now the question comes. A one and a half year old baby comes to the OPD with a generalized convulsive episode which is lasting for 45 minutes that qualifies to be a status epilepticus an on duty senior resident asked a junior resident to start the IV line and the left left kaha canteen go there if the IV access is not possible what should the junior resident should do rectal dizipam and uh, the senior resident came back status did not improve then the IV line is available. If available, then what is the treatment is a very important question. If it is available, then IV phenytoin should be given. So the simple protocol of uh, the clinical management. But remember, doctor, a kajib cheese abhi tak mujhe malum nahi pada. जब सीनियर रेजिडेंट नहीं रहता आईवी लाइन नहीं मिलता सीनियर रेजिडेंट आए तो आईवी लाइन मिलता क्यों क्या है उसमें उतना जादू जो आईवी लाइन सडनली वो वो पर उठ के आके आपको नीडल चले जाता क्या नो द रीजन इज लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स वी ट्यून आवर माइंड अनफॉर्चूनेटली माइंड इज द बिगेस्ट 
friend biggest enemy throughout our life all the stories how we can be able to control our mind the one who could do that is thidadi munivrushyati the one the mind which is stable noble agile able and can control the impulses of the mind still observe the mind is the greatest maharshi right so kya ho jata they will make up a mind that mujhe nahi milta my intubation mein try kiya nahi milta mujhe intubation karne ke liye gaye to foley ka jagah lagana to mujhe nahi milta yuritra wo mind set fix ho jata to hum try karna hi band kar dete suddenly senior is and are are acha then try karna the needle poke tuck you will get the gush of the blood that's a very common phenomena even neat pg entrance also doctor no no the topic acidosis alkalosis mai nahi padunga baba mujhe nahi aata always confusing topic oh he fix ho jate hain hamare mind fix nahi hona you are with dr murli bharadwaj who is md general medicine you are all general medicine minds right there is no topic in this world that can be called a unconquerable topic unconquerable logic it's only a question of right way of approaching the topic right so that is the reason um, every day evening 7 to 11 please join and uh, we'll keep playing with about 100 questions every day discuss 100 questions dekhte dekhte january tak unknowingly you become the maharshi right so that is very important now 18 month old baby brought with abnormal twitching of his lower limb low grade fever fontanel bulging what is the most common cause for the seizures in this age group febrile seizures is what you have to basically remember doctor so the most common in neurological disorder what age group does febrile seizure occur only after the myelination is complete Six months to five years, not below six months. Peak incidence twelve to eighteen months, and uh, the it is male predominant, with one point six to one ratio. So that is a febrile seizures. They are tonic clonic seizures. They do not last more than fifteen minutes, and they do not reoccur within twenty four hours. and the most important factor to manage the febrile seizures is not the anti epileptic it is the control of the fever which is most important so doctor febrile convulsions may are co two varieties hota hai simple and complex differences kya hai ek fatafat dekh lenge ideally this this session is not a very extensive in depth of every question that we will do it every day 7 pm to 11 pm when we all meet up in live online and also all these topics are there in the online video library in the online mbbs.com abhi to hum quickly we will see what examiner's uh, trending line what is the trend of the examiner wo pakad lena doctor right now simply short less than 15 minutes complex febrile is actually more than 5 15 minutes 70% of all febrile are simple they are gtcs complex can be focal convulsions with a secondary generalization matlab shuru hona focal then secondary generalization there is no recurrence within 24 hours if it is a simple febrile whereas recurrence within 24 hours can be the nature of the complex there is no postictal pathology or a residual weakness but the complex febrile seizures can show tod sparsis is what you have to basically remember now doctor a 3 week neonate presents with ambiguous genitalia salt losing because sodium is low what is the specific thing that you want to give so as you know 21 alpha hydroxylase deficiency is virilizing virilizing at the same time salt losing is uh, the point that's reason you need to give hydrocortisone immediately 
So this is one important table of the congenital lateral hyperplasia. Is also roti kapda makan topic. Definitely anivala topic hai. Doubt ichi nahi hai. Progesterone becomes aldosterone, 21 alpha hydroxylase. 17 hydroxy progesterone becomes cortisol, 21 alpha hydroxylase. Say 21 alpha hydroxylase ko dikkat ho gaya baba. Aldosterone gir jayega, cortisol gir jayega, our adrenal androgens bad jayega. So, increased adrenal androgens lead to virilization, decreased aldosterone lead to salt losing is what you have to basically remember. So, in the online MBBS.com, we have uh, congenital adrenal hyperplasia, one of the hit topics out of the 953 topics. What are all the questions in DNB, AIMS, All India, PGI? We have discussed, debated, and uh, made them available in the video library. So, those who are uh, new to the today's session, please call 9000-868-356, which is our helpline. And uh, you get an access to the online video library. All these video lectures, these PowerPoints, everything will be made archived into the online MBBS.com video library. Now, doctor, antibiotics, they are the main line of treatment of neonatal diarrhea. Majority of the diarrhea in neonate is virus. If the reason true, hai to, if you commit that assertion is true, Absolutely, or we are making a mistake. Reason is true. Viral diarrhea are most common. So antibiotics mainly in case of then antibiotics don't act on the viruses. So it's like a hydration support of the patient. ORS that is the main part of the management, not the antibiotics. So assertion is false. Reason is right. It is what you need to remember. Now. The gene which is involved in juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. Oh my God. Too much now. A MD general medicine or MS general surgery or a cardiology banne ko or gabra one gene ko kya rishta hai? Too much. Too much. Fir bhi examiner kabhi kabhi at least 20 questions. It is more irrational to expect examiner to be rational, right? So, 20 questions aapko rulane ke liye deta hai, isko bolte hai, rone wala questions. Isko liye do asu, two tear drops, you ought to drop and then proceed. Especially negative marking exam mein, don't do suicidal attempts. Mujhe ye bhi malum hai. Suddenly, an auditory hallucination at the exam. Chin, chin, chin is the answer. FMR, FMR, FMR is the answer. But auditory hallucinations keep telling you. Koi bolta ki gabra, gabra lelo, gabra lelo. So, you should be in a position uh, to control your mind, doctor. Sthitadi munivrhyati. You should not suddenly fall down. First bouncer maare to, tension nakko lena. Right? Like MS Dhoni's cricketer, you should be sure. Mera ball aega, main sixer maarunga. Bolke wait karna, sixer maarna. Wait karna, sixer maarna. 250 sixers maar or 300 questions mein, aap need peechi ke top 1000 ranks mein aage chale gaya. Right? So, this kind of questions only test your uh, patience. So, Gabra. Alpha 1 subunit of GABRA and juvenile myoclonic epilepsy is what you need to remember. Gestational diabetes, jo hota hai, is may polyhydramnios, obesity, history of macrosomia, there will all be there. Malformations are more often seen in case of uh, the regular diabetes before the pregnancy. Agar hai to. And you get diabetes. Then during conceptional phase only, a poor glycemic uh, control in the first trimester only will be there. That lead to malformation. But a gestational diabetes, jo hota hai, diabetes, glucose intolerance will be there, not in the first trimester. So malformations are less likely 
with the GDM is what you need to understand. So doctor, what are the maternal and fetal complications of gestational diabetes? Pregnancy induced hypertension, preeclampsia, polyhydramnios, cesarean, increased risk of gestational diabetes in subsequent pregnancy and uh, in the later life, there is a great chance of developing type 2 diabetes. Are the risk factors, if there is a gestational diabetes, is what you need to remember. Whereas in the fetus, shoulder dystocia, hypoglycemia, hypocalcemia, polycythemia, hyperbilirubinemia, macrosomia, and uh, a traumatic delivery resulting from the cephalopelvic disproportion between that large baby and the maternal pelvis is what you have to emphatically remember. Right? Now, a fetus is found to have congenital heart block. Whenever the mother is having SLE, anti rho antibodies cross the placenta and lead to development of the congenital heart to block is what you should remember. So SSA anti rho SSB anti law was my SSA can lead to the congenital heart block. That is what you have to appreciate. Now, a 33 week multi gravida woman, epigastric pain, headache, visual symptoms, proteinuria 3 plus, eclampsia. My bold round doctor, of all the 19 subjects, easiest subject, agar aap sahi taraf, 45 topics hai Dr. Obstrix Gynecology mein. 45 topics. 45 topics padne ke liye aapko 20 ganta lagega. Usse jada nahi lagna chahiye. 30 questions, 30 out of 30. Like 6 balls, 6 sixers. Or 6 balls, 6 wickets of Bumrah. Like that, you should hit it. Once more. For those students who are relatively new to this session, two minutes, I'll take uh, an opportunity to once more reinforce to you the mantra of success. The mantra of success is onlinemvbs.com and in the onlinemvbs.com when you come, doctor, you have uh, this, this area where you have all the courses. 650 high yield topics, 30,000 heart MCQs, need pg mock test um, here you have top need pg in 120 days top need pg in 120 days if you click on the top need pg in 120 days typically you have everything organized day one day two etc so you have day one anatomy what are all the high yield topics in anatomy you should revise then day two what are all the topics and every day there is a daily test available for that particular day and uh, if you go down you have in 120 days all these 953 topics they are being organized biochemistry microbiology etc etc pharmacology and everything so if you come to the gynecology and obstetrics doctor if you go down and down and down uh, you also have general medicine there are totally about 68 topics in general medicine. Surgery may there are about 50. Most high yield topics are uh, there. So any any given day, if you happen to go to any particular topic, let us say you have the gynops from 87th day onwards. So for example, oral concept of pills, carcinoma cervix, ovarian cancer. These are all standard topics. Ames job, FMG job. Uh, need PG job, kahi bhi job. So once you go to the topic, let us say oral contraceptive pills, uh, you you have the uh, video lecture, video lecture where the last 15 years, All India, AIMS, our uh, Jipmer, PGI ka question bank, which has been discussed topic wise. So you have the PowerPoint also of this particular topic immediately available below the video. So agar aapko, if you can fada fat, fada fat, fada fat, run through the uh, PowerPoint and can be able to guess what is the answer, 
more than enough you don't need to even go through the video then you can also even go to the video if you if you feel that this topic i want to have a review you can always have that so you have the various question banks discussed and placed under every topic so by showing compliance to this 120 day program right so uh, in this 120 day program that is what uh, is all about winning right so any entrance you go ultimately it all comes from it boils down to this 953 topics that you can revise in about 600 hours along with the daily subject test daily test will be there and there is a discussion on the uh, video discussion on that 100 MCQs daily uh, in the online MBBS.com. Fir bhi aap sabko uh, inspiration dene ke liye Dr. Murli Bharadwaj is available evening 7 to 11 pm and uh, we will be taking every opportunity every day to solve some 100 MCQs in a particular topic so that you are once more reignited you can meet all your online classmates across India by the time it is October 400 500 online uh, classmates will join you uh, in the daily interactive session that keeps you inspired and also join our whatsapp group in order to be like razor sharp 24 x 7 with some of the best students across India who are sincerely like committed stem cells preparing for the entrance exam. So doctor we give max sulfate is what you should remember. Now doctor a very important question. A max sulfate jo hota hai, how do we give? There is a continuous IV regime, Pritchard regime, Sibai regime, Juspan regime. And we also give Dizipam, Phenetoin and a Lytic cocktail. You know importance of Lytic cocktail? Lytic cocktail was discovered by Indian. Dr. Meenan is responsible. Chloropromazine, Promethazine or Petadine Milake Dieto. It has a wonderful effect in controlling the seizures in case of uh, eclampsia. So, Prichard regime kya hota hai? The root is ayam. During internship, if you have given at least, if you did not do Prichard regime on at least one eclamptic woman, better go now in the reading, in the labor room, from the reading room, go to labor room and then manage one night eclamptic woman and your debt to the patient is over and you become the Maharshi in the obstetrics. So 4 grams of 25% max sulphate IV slowly over 5 to 10 minutes followed by 5 grams of 50% max sulphate into each buttock. 5 grams of 50% max sulphate IM 4th hourly to the alternate buttock. Like uh, old days may they used to have the firangi thak, 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 and they will be loading the gun and giving you. So your nurse will be loading and giving you and you are uh, punching the IM injections. It is almost like World War I, right? That night of World War I of eclamptic, managing an eclamptic woman, you need to spend. So how does Max Sulfate act? It inhibits the platelet aggregation. It uh, increases the PGI2 synthesis and uh, typically the motor end plate sensitivity, it will decrease and um, it reduces the neuromuscular irritability. There is another way by which it is being given called Sibai regime. 6 gram max sulfate over 20 minutes followed by 2 gram max sulfate IV infusion. Just regime 1978 may. 4 grams max sulfate over 5 to 10 minutes followed by 1 gram max sulfate infusion per hour infusion. And uh, Dizipam is being given 10 to 40 milligrams IV slowly followed by 40 grams in 500 ml of 5% dextrose at the rate of 30 drops per minute. This goes like a standard ordering, right? You should be very sure. So one more very interesting news, doctor. Do you know who discovered Max sulfate? Lazard. He's a house surgeon, intern, 
इन कैलिफोर्निया 1924 में डिस्कवर्ड मैक्स सल्फेट ऑलमोस्ट मैक्स सल्फेट प्रैक्टिस इज रीचिंग 96 इयर्स इट सेव्ड मिलियंस प्रॉब्ली अ बिलियन ऑफ एक्लैम्पिक पेशेंट्स अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड it is given 20 to 25% most commonly or im 50% or subcutaneously 15% is what you need to remember so doctor um, monitoring you do it by patellar reflex monitoring the respiratory rate which is more than 16 minutes and urine output ko monitor karna padega and uh, serum mag levels you should basically um evaluate so if there is a magnesium toxicity how will you treat it what are the most important antidote is the examiner's question 10 ml of 10% calcium gluconate slowly intravenously you should administer to treat the magnesium toxicity is what you should remember so the lytic cocktail was discovered by menen 25 mg of chlorpromazine and 100 mg of pethidine in 20 ml of 5% dextrose intravenously 50 mg of chlorpromazine and 25 mg of promethazine intramuscularly is being given is what you should basically remember so now doctor if there is a status eclampticus you need to give thiopentone injection dizepam if required general anesthesia that is considered to be the protocol now doctor what is the hormone therapy contraindications or indications or prerequisites of hormone therapy hot flashes osteoporosis vaginal dryness postmenopausally it is the hormonal therapy so you should be very sure doctor मेनोपोसल हार्मोन थेरेपी का कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन क्या है एग्जामिनर्स फेवरेट क्वेश्चन एक्यूट लिवर डिजीज रिसेंट आर्टीरियल थ्रॉम्बो एम्बोलिक डिजीज लाइक एम आई और एंजाइना करेंट पास्ट और सस्पेक्टेड ब्रेस्ट कैंसर एनी नॉन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी एंड पॉर्फाइरिया क्यूटेनिया टार्ड एप्सल्यूट कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेशन for the hormone replacement therapy any undiagnosed genital bleeding endometrial hyperplasia untreated hypertension they are all considered to be the contra indications for the menopausal hormone replacement therapy a 35 year old woman multi gravida presenting with a post coital bleeding after having an intercourse there is a bleeding vagina is normal cervix is hypertrophied what is the next line of management the protocol of the post coital bleeding is very important to be known doctor you have to do a four quadrant biopsy or a targeted biopsy it is called as so doctor let us look into the algorithm of post coital bleeding how are you going to manage post coital bleeding right ha huh. so if there is a intermenstrual bleeding rituraj is asking why not the pap smear pap see the question is next line of management you can do any of them but next line of management according to the protocol now let us look into it if there is a intermenstrual or a post coital bleeding you exclude ectopic pregnancy and any complications of the uterine pregnancy then uh, if the patient is pregnant if she is not pregnant look any iatrogenic cause for that those who are taking ocps or a recent colposcopy also they will be having a little friability of the tissues and that can lead to intermenstrual or a post coital bleeding there is no such history then you have to do the examination of cervix if anything suspicious in cervix pap smear swabs then suspect endometriosis and try to do laparoscopy and uh, to rule out 
uterine pathology, you have to do bimanual pelvic examination, ultrasound, hysteroscopy, endometrial sampling for histopathology. Suppose if there is any um, cervical uh, lesion, you need to take a swab for infection and you need to do a non-screening pap test to look for cervical dysplasia and then you need to do a speculum examination in order to uh, ectropion, endocervical pathology, IUD trial, etc, etc. Right? Huh. So, Ritu Raj is saying, uh, what was the next step, not the best step? But it is a common parlance of language. Common parlance of language. The best step is the next step that you should take. Am I right? Am I right? Yes. So, uh, the best step always is the next step. Right? So, if you have gone for a moonlight candle cider, a candle lit moonlight dinner, always the next step should be the best step. Is there any difference between the two, Satya? So, post coital bleeding, what are the causes? Is a very, very important question. Venereal lesions like trauma, benign cervical lesions like polyp, cervical ectropion and cervicitis and malignant cervical lesions like squamous adenocarcinoma and the chlamydia is what you have to basically remember. So when there is a post coital bleeding, do a pregnancy test, do a infection screen, do a speculum, do a bimanual. Speculum may ectropion dikhaega. Abnormal cervix with a visible mass haito, immediate referral to the colposcopy. Ectropion haito, you ask whether the person is taking mini pill, watch and wait. And if there is any persistent vascular lesion, refer to the colposcopy and smear and do the cauterization, cryosurgery and laser treatment is considered to be the vanishment of choice. If you do bimanual, there is a palpable mass. Send her for an immediate gynecological referral less than two weeks. If there is any cervical tenderness, think of pelvic inflammatory disease and start treatment is what you have to basically remember. Now, in a preterm labor which has a neuroprotective role, the max sulfate discovered by Lazard, the intern, a house surgeon who discovered it, Max sulfate is a wonder drug. It also is known to have neuroprotective role is what you have to basically remember. It protects against free radical injury, reduces pro-inflammatory cytokines, stabilizes the membranes, increases cerebral blood flow. Is a mag sulfate co neuroprotective role is what you should remember. What is the sequential arrangement of the fetal scans to be done in the pregnancy is a very, very important question. Nuchal translucency, triple markers followed by anomalous scan and finally the growth scan. A ultrasound ka timetable malum hona doctor. Right? So what is the timetable? There are four routine ultrasound scans which are done in the antenatal care doctor. The early viability scans with the nuchal translucency, right? And uh, nuchal translucency, uh, typically, uh, where do we do? At 11 to 14 weeks, at 11 to 14 weeks. Fetal anatomical survey scan, which is called anomaly screen scan. Don't forget 18 to 22 weeks. I think we have this guy called uh, Mahesh. Yeah. 
Right. So, uh, yes, Doc. Now, fetal anatomical survey, 18 to 20 weeks. Growth scan, jo hota hai, doctor, 28 to 34 weeks. And fetal weight presentation, placenta location, it is all done at 36 to uh, 38 weeks is what you have to remember. So this is one important uh, part, doctor. Four routine ultrasound scans. And what is their timing is a favorite question of uh, the examiner. Now, a pregnant lady who is having chicken pox, when will the fetus get the maximum infected is a very, very important question. 13 to 20 weeks is the time where it can cause serious complications is what you should basically remember. Satya Snigdha, clean bowl, it is not 8 to 13, it should be 13 to 20 weeks is a favorite question. Once more. Now, so keep punching your answers, doctor. Absolutely. This should be a hyper interactive session. Then only your energetic, these points will get into your mind. If you are doing wrong answers, then only uh, that is the best way to remember the right answer is by doing the uh, wrong answer. Akila says, sir, is uh, Tiffon scan, the anomaly scan. I, I did not get the question. Akila. Now, uh, a 23 year old second gravida with a DVT already on warfarin. Right? Already on warfarin. What you should avoid? The levonorgestrel containing either dipometroxy, progesterone, acetate contraceptives or levonorgestrel contraceptives, both of them, they increase the tendency for deep vein thrombosis. It what you should basically remember. Which is a trophoblast does not invade the spinal arterioles. How many types of trophoblast do you know? No. Interstitial trophoblast. Typically, you have uh, endo, endo glandular trophoblast. So this is a uterine gland. A gland ko invade karne wala trophoblast hota hai. Vessel ko invade karne wala trophoblast hota hai. Kisi ko invade nahi karne wala trophoblast hota hai. Interstitial trophoblast is what you have to basically remember very good Akila rightly says targeted imaging for fetal anomalies is this scan is also called anomaly scan I'm not very sure Akila uh, I'll just get back on that yes good question now a diabetic female delivers the head of a baby even after one minute, the shoulder was not delivered. So what is that maneuver that you need to do in order to facilitate a shoulder dystocia is the favorite question of the examiner. Mac robots maneuver. So before Mac robots maneuver, if you look at the uh, orientation, the diagonal orientation of the symphysis pubis with the sacrum that makes the shoulder delivery difficult but if you tilt the pelvis and if you try to orient the symphysis more horizontally that will then facilitate the shoulder delivery and that facility is basically called is for anomalies it is same as anomalous um, scan so that is how our students are always more update more appropriate, right? Huh. Is the video getting frozen, doctor? Are you comfortable or are the video getting frozen? So, you should remember, the baby is trying to get into this world to take the neat PG or next exam. The anterior fetal shoulder is caught in the maternal pelvis. Then, 
the mac robots maneuver changes the orientation orientation and uh, the maternal thighs are flexed against the abdomen and that enables the delivery of the shoulder is what you have to remember so this is another classical way of depicting the macrobots where the shoulder is uh, being uh, delivered underneath the pubic symphysis by hyperflexing towards the abdomen the shoulder is able to come down because of a more horizontal orientation of the pubic symphysis is what you have to basically remember now doc what are all the physiological changes in respiratory system the frc is typically decreased functional residual capacity because that abdominal distension of the pregnancy will elevate the diaphragm up that will decrease the frc is what you should remember now tell me what are all the changes that you want to remember respiratory rate increases why because pregnancy may progesterone is high and progesterone stimulates the respiratory center in fact some of the patients who are having obstructive sleep apnea you give them medroxy progesterone acetate tablets milta hai wo dene se unka respiration will improve so always progesterone has got a stimulant effect on the respiration so respiratory rate is increased vital capacity is not changed tidal volume is increased by 40% functional residual capacity is decreased oxygen consumption is increased by 20% is what you have to basically remember now doctor what is the investigation of choice for the visico vaginal fistula is the examiner's question we do the three swab test three swab test so you should remember doctor that uh, uh, this this is a very good uh, way to remember this is the bladder can you see bladder and the urine is passing into urethra and who is entering into the bladder your ureter ureter is entering into the bladder so in parallel with that here you are keeping three swabs if you happen to pass any colored dye into the bladder then if there is a connection between the bladder and the uh, vagina visico vaginal swab will discolor the top most swab now the upper most swab wetting is there but no discoloration no discoloration uska matlab hai directly ureter made a connection with the vagina ureter or vaginal fistula hai to there is a wetting but where is the colored dye colored dye is there in the bladder not in ureter so agar ureter directly connection banaya kisse vagina se then what will happen there is a uppermost swab wetting but it is not discolored and suppose only the lowest swab is the one which got discolored that suggests a low urethral fistula low urethral fistula where the urethra and bladder they both developed uh, the fistula tract is what you have to remember this is called the three swab test is what you have to fundamentally understand so once more summarize doctor you have filled the bladder you have filled the bladder with the dye and if the and if the dye happen to discolor the lowest swab that means urethro vesical fistula and uh, if the bladder directly happens to uh, color the uppermost swab that means visico vaginal fistula 
there is a wetting of the uppermost but it is not uh, having the dye color means it is a uretero vaginal uretero vaginal fistula that is what you have to basically remember now doctor a 28 year old female with history of bilateral hearing loss can hear better in the noisy environment Rennie's test is negative intact eardrums pure tone audiometry is showing the carotid notch agar is question ko koi wrong kare to man lo 30000 ranks piche ho gaya 30000 ranks you are behind itna khas क्वेश्चन है इतना स्टैंडर्ड रोटी कपड़ा मकान क्वेश्चन है इसको रॉन्ग कभी भी नहीं करना इसे क्वेश्चंस को राइट हाँ सो एवरी डे सेवन पी एम टू इलेवन पी एम इफ यू आर स्पेंडिंग ए गुड टाइम विथ डॉक्टर मुरली भारद्वाज सॉल्विंग अबाउट हंड्रेड एमसीक्यूज खेलते खेलते विथ ऑलमोस्ट ऑल टू हंड्रेड ऑनलाइन स्टूडेंट अक्रॉस द कंट्री you are born to become the winner of neat pg right now doctor which is not an etiological factor for the head and neck malignancies so you should be sure epstein barr virus hpv betel nut they are all being implicated radical neck dissection may what do you remove what do you retain favorite question from times immemorial so tail of the parotid submandibular level 2b lymph nodes they are the ones which are basically um, remote but not sublingual so doctor radical neck dissection nodal groups 1 to 4 submandibular gland tail of parotid sternocleidomastoid internal jugular vein 11th cranial now they are the remote structures when a sponsor auricular suboccipital retropharyngeal lymph nodes peri parotid tissue peri facial paratracheal nodes they are the ones which are preserved is what you have to understand then modified radical neck dissection may you still remove the nodal groups 1 to 4 but you will be preserving internal jugular vein and uh, the uh, sternocleidomastoid and the 11th cranial nerve is what you have to remember now fractures ka eponymous names jo british british doctor humko chhod ke gaye isko patti maro beta tab neat pg milega bolke winston churchill ne bata ke gaya england ko chaffers fracture cotton fracture pilon fracture we have to remember right so let us quickly get into the game doctor pilon's fracture is the comminuted fracture of the intra articular um area of uh, distal end of radius runner's is the stress fracture of the distal fibula and chaffers fracture is the fracture of the styloid cross of the radius and cotton's fracture is the trimalleolar fracture of the ankle is what you have to remember ek baar ye sare fractures uska radiographs ka ek darshan kare to hamara jeevan dhanya ho jayega so doctor what is this you are seeing classically trimalleolar i mean comminuted fracture comminuted uh, intra articular fracture of the uh, distal end of the tibia comminuted pieces pieces ho gaya so that become the pilon's fracture pilon pilon's fracture gotcha now runner's fracture runner's fracture there is a stress fracture of the distal fibula 3 to 8 cm above the lateral malleolus repeated axial stress on the fibula is responsible for this uh, runner's fracture is what you should remember so yahan aapko jo dikh raha hai ye hai runner's fracture which is above the lateral malleolus runner's fracture 
is what you should remember. Tomorrow's NEET PG 2020 may fill oh, he examiner ke AIMS, DNB, FMG, NEET PG, exit exam. So, now you have a question bank to use this. So, that's why you have to be prepared. You be prepared. The name of the exam is something else. Ram, Govind, Hari, Madhav, Keshav, whatever it is. God is the one. So, you should be prepared with all the concepts. Chopper's fracture. It is a typical fracture of the forearm, especially radial styloid. It is the compression of the scaphoid bone of the hand against the styloid process of the distal radius. And it is the forced alar deviation of the wrist causing the evolution of the radius styloid which is responsible is what you have to remember. So this is a, another classical example of the radial styloid showing the fracture which is called as Chauffer's fracture. Abhi ho gaya. Cotton's fracture, Cotton's fracture is a trimalleolar fracture, middle malleolus, little malleolus, trimalleolar fracture is the Cotton's fracture. Another example of, you have a fibular fracture, lateral malleolus, medial malleolus, so trimalleolar fracture is basically called Cotton's fracture is what you need to remember. A very reasonable question. Ranjit पूछ रहे हैं, बाई मेलियोलार का कुछ नाम है क्या? मुझे मालूम नहीं। अगर है तो बताना, Ranjit। वो cotton है ना, ये wood होगा। British वालों का कुछ भी नाम लगा सकते हो लोग। Now, anterior shoulder dislocation. What is correct? So, a recurrent rate is very common. Recurrent shoulder dislocation is very common, especially in young people. Axillary nerve is most commonly injured. Anterior dislocation of the shoulder is most common. Posture dislocation of the shoulder, where the humeral head dislocates posterior. Only rare situations may hota. Kab hota? If you are giving electroconvulsive therapy, there are very powerful muscular jolting that can lead to posture dislocation. Similarly, those who are having a severe epileptic episode, they can have posture dislocation of the shoulder. Otherwise, most of the shoulder dislocations are anterior. Similarly, posterior, I mean, hip may kya hota, reverse hota. Posterior hip dislocation is most common than the anterior dislocation. Posterior hip dislocation ko kya hota hai? Dashboard injury. कोई ड्राइविंग कर रहे हैं, the front of the knee hit the dashboard and that lead to posture dislocation. Posterior hip dislocations are more common than anterior and anterior shoulder dislocations are more common is what you have to remember. Now, septic arthritis. Staphylococcus aureus is most common organism. Widening of the joint space is what you find. Conscious criteria. It will help to differentiate the septic arthritis from the transient synovitis. Achha bhaiya. Conscious criteria for septic arthritis kya hota hai? Temperature, WBC count, ESR, inability to ambulate, C react to protein which is elevated, they are all the cultures criteria for the septic arthritis is what you have to ultimately remember. Then uh, even though you have not uh, sent for culture of aspirate, incision and drainage are the high priority. So if you do the imaging, imaging, joint space widening and periarticular osteopenia, they are the features of the septic arthritis is what you should remember. There is a fracture shaft of the femur. What is the true statement about it? Shaft of the femur is very common in elderly. It can lead to pulmonary complications like 
embolism, fat embolism. Intramedullary nailing is the gold standard of management. Easy question. Gallus fraction hota hai pediatrics mein. Very good. Satish Lenka recalls light bulb sign in posture shoulder dislocation. Very good, doctor. So that is how the next uh, four months. Bhajan karte baitna padega high yield facts ko. Bhajan. Canteen mein kha rahe, dosto ke saath chai pi rahe, hospital mein rounds kar rahe, kahi bhi ho. The high yield points, high yield facts should keep on reverberating and your goal to finish 953 topics, high yield topics that I mentioned in the online MBBS.com should be ready. Every topic may four or five twist reta. Dangal ke jay se. Rizzling fists. So those fists you should know. Fists, twists, turns. Small, small points examiner jo aapka khan pakde ka. Wo malam hona hai. The whole purpose of coaching etc. That is all to know those, to be vibrant all the time. So gallows faction hota hai pediatrics mein babu ji. So, this is gallows traction. This is a pediatric Thoma splint. So, always about a gallows traction, what will you remember? Sustained traction for the femoral shaft fracture in very young children. And if she is never used in the children over the age, weight of 12 kgs. Bara kilo ke upar weight hai to istemal nahi karte. And only below 10 years you have to use for two weeks followed by hip spike or thrust for four weeks is considered to be the protocol. So what is the most specific test for ankylizing spondylitis? Bilateral sacroiliitis if you look at the specificity percentages. Sensitivity in ke baare mein nahi bol rahe. Specificity bilateral sacroiliitis carries a high specificity so if you happen to take a pelvic radiograph in a young, sweet looking lady with a severe low back pain, if you have taken the radiograph, if you are able to find the sacroiliitis, then you should think of the possibility of getting her HLA B27, especially if the low back pain is not responding very well. Right? It is very easy to say, but clinical practice may, there are n number of reasons for a back pain, pelvic inflammatory disease, so many things are there. And who is a man who did never got a back pain till now? There is no man. So, low back pain is very non-specific symptom, but from there leading towards the diagnosis of ankylizing spondylitis, it is an art. Diagnosis is an art to apply the principles of science. Now, doctor. How do you diagnose? What is the modified New York criteria for ankylizing spondylitis? Pura rheumatology criteria ka subject hai, Babuji. Low back pain more than three months, which is improved by exercise, improved by exercise, not relieved by rest. Unlike the disc prolapse. Limitation of the lumbar spinal motion in both the sagittal and frontal pains chest expansion decreased and bilateral sacroiliitis of grade 2 or 4 or unilateral sacroiliitis of grade 3 or 4 is what you should remember and detecting sacroiliitis via chest x-ray. There is no specific laboratory test but ESR, CRP they indicate inflammation. Rheumatoid factor is absent. It is a seronegative spondyloarthropathy. Zero negative spondyloarthropathy. So it is absent and HLA B27 being there. These are all the important things. 75 year old female fell in the bathroom. She has a fracture shaft of the femur. Kyo hota hai? It is a consequence of osteoporosis. What is the best time to check the bone mineral density? Question number 146. Achha? Devi or Sajano, aapka answer kya hai, dekhenge. Jara 
गैस मारना भी आदत करो हाउ टू डू द स्टोन पेल्टिंग सो सत्या से सिक्सटी साहित वॉन्ट टू ऑनरेट एट फिफ्टी अलेक् थिंग्स फिफ्टी फाइव सो डॉक्टर ये रिकमेंडेशन वाला बात है जो सही तरफ अमेरिकन रोमेटोलॉजी एसोसिएशन रिकमेंड किया वैसा ही करना नॉट अवर पर्सनल रिकमेंडेशन राइट एट सिक्सटी फाइव राइट सो वट द इंडिकेशन फॉर द बोन मिनरल डेंसिटी टेस्ट इसके बारे में हम चर्चा कर रहे ऑल वुमेन एज सिक्सटी फाइव आर ओल्डर एंड ऑल मेन ओवर दी इयर्स ऑफ एज रिगार्डलेस ऑफ रिस्क फैक्टर्स post menopausal women under the age of 65 and the men in the age group of 50 to 70 who have one or more other risk factors that is the point you need to remember so general practice general medicine practice is very interesting all the time interesting just like our uh, live online classes there are so many stories patients will tell सुनते 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 आपका पूरा डेविडसन हैरिजन सारे चीजें रिविजन हो जाता राइट सो दैट्स द रीजन नॉट ओनली दैट एनी क्लिनिशियन एनी क्लिनिशियन जॉब वी डोंट नो व्हेन वी आवर 30 इयर्स और 40 इयर्स ऑफ कैरियर इज ओवर इतना फास्ट 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 चले जाता है व्हाई बिकॉज पेशेंट्स दे विल कीप ऑन टेलिंग द स्टोरीज स्लोली वन पेज आफ्टर अनदर पेज ऑफ द हैरिजन जो हम पढ़ाई यहां करते हैं Every day, one or two new patients will keep telling you the things that are written like paragraphs in the Harrison and Davidson. इसलिए अगर आपको preparation bore हो गया तो एक काम करो, जाके वार्ड में बैठ के पूरा ten patients को BBC interview करो, CNN interview. उनका पूरा story starting to beginning तक सुनो, खत्ता फिर interest आएगा पढ़ने के लिए, right? Now, doctor, what are you doing here? एक light लेके इस I may then is I may then this I and that I that's called swinging light flash test. What are you trying to look for? R A P D. That is relative afferent pupillary defect. So typically in this I when you throw the light, you are supposed to get pupil constriction in this I and opposite I also. Suppose if this eye, optic nerve is having any demyelination or any pathology, then when you throw the light, this does not react, nor the other eye also is not reacting. But when you move the light to the other eye and uh, throw, throw the light, uh, then the direct reflex of pupil constriction is happening here and it is also leading to the consensual pupillary constriction. Right? So, pupillary constriction occur because of the parasympathetic efferents are causing constrictor pupillae to contract. Optic nerve mein dikkat hai to bhi, pupil constriction is not affected. Efferent pathway is not affected. Only afferent is affected. So, is liye kya ho gaya? Is light mein daale to pupil constrict nahi ho raha, magar light ko le ja ke dousre eye mein daale to then consensual light reflex is causing this otherwise non-reactive pupil to now react. So, how do you see it? When I put the light on the pupil, I didn't have to move it, but it was moving, it was constrict. So, it looks like a lazy, lazy eye. Pupil reconstriction is lazy. But it is not lazy. It is lazy. रिलेटिव एफरेंट प्यूपिलरी डिफेक्ट है ऑप्टिक नर्व जो एफरेंट है ऑप्टिक न्यूराइटिस होने के वजह से डायरेक्ट लाइट रिफ्लेक्स नहीं रहता है सो दैट इज द प्रॉब्लम इन केस ऑफ द ऑप्टिक न्यूराइटिस व्हिच इज डिटेक्टेड बाय स्विंगिंग फ्लैश लाइट टेस्ट इज व्हाट यू हैव टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर सो ऑप्टिक न्यूराइटिस में होता है द प्यूपिल बिकम पैराडॉक्सिकली डायलेटेड when you are throwing the light on it is what you have to basically remember now what is this test basically it is checking the stereopsis the perception of the depth so 
Titmus stereo test. It is called stereo depth perception testing. It will allow both the gross and fine stereo vision. Polarized glasses are used to perform. And uh, a fly is being used for gross stereo opsis with 3000 seconds of an arc. And a graded circle test, as what you can see here, graded circle test for 800 to 40 seconds of arc. That is what you have to understand. Now, doctor, what are the other stereopsis tests that the examiner can ask in the tomorrow's exam? Titmus stereo test, Bernal stereo test, random dot E test, Frisbee test and Lang test. They are all the stereopsis test. Then you go and get all the things you get a photo. देख लो एग्जामिनर के क्वेश्चन बैंक में ये सारे फोटोज बैठे हुए हैं एक के बाद एक फोटो निकालेगा एग्जामिनर आपको बोलेगा भैया ये बोलो ये फोटो मालूम है क्या हाँ मालूम है ये टिटमस स्टीरियो टेस्ट है नो व्हाट इज़ द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ 18 मंथ ओल्ड चाइल्ड हुज बोथ आईज आर डिविएटेड मीडियली इसको क्या कहते हैं व्हाट डू यू कॉल इट एज इजोट्रोपिया एकॉमोडेटिव इजोट्रोपिया Typically, whenever a child is having uncorrected hypermetropia, most commonly, uncorrected hypermetropia, there is an excessive accommodation. Book mein dekhna wale to excessive accommodation karna padta. Agar hum book padna hai, presbyopia ho gaya, kya karte? Aise, 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 dekhte hoi, we will be doing excessive accommodation. That excessive accommodation which occur because of the uncorrected hypermetropia in a child will lead to the medial deviation of both the eyes which is called as accommodative isotropia is what you have to basically understand. Now, doctor, you match the various side effects of the drugs in the eye. So, you should be very sure Emidiron, what does it lead to? Corneal micro deposits. Corneal micro deposits. Emidiron. So, it is also called verticillate. Verticillate keratopathy is the name given for the emidiron. Then, digoxin lead to yellow vision. This is a very standard question. Systemic steroids, they lead to cataracts and hydroxychloroquine lead to the development of bull's eye retinopathy. Bull's eye retinopathy as all of you know very well. Now doctor, the fundus examination should be done in a 45 year old female with a newly diagnosed diabetes with no visual symptoms. When will you do? Definitely at the time of diagnosis. They go doctor, aap, aap abhi diagnosis kar rahe. Just because she came to your OP, you have checked her fasting sugar and you found that she is having a glucose intolerance. Uska matlab, that is the day of her diagnosis. I mean, that is not the day of her onset. It might have started long back, but coincidentally you discovered it now. Isliye, Everybody who is being detected for diabetes should be assumed that retrospectively they are having the diabetes and they need to be evaluated at the time of diagnosis. The fundus examination should be done is what you have to basically remember. Now, these are all the various blistering lesions, dermatological conditions. What is the order of them from superficial towards the Femphigus vulgaris, subse superficial hai. Uske niche bullous femphigoid, uske niche linear IgA, uske niche epidermolysis bullosa is what you have to understand. A nine month old child presents with fever, neck rigidity, signs and symptoms are being given below where you are able to see the herpes lesions. So that is a classical appearance of the herpes simplex virus type 1 lesions is what you need to understand. Now doctor, a patient presents with joint pain, 
mild fever nsaids were given developed pigmentation after one week on the tip of the nose tip of the nose acha bataiye what is this condition this is a favorite routine multiple times asked question chikungunya disease typically lead to this kind of a pigmentation on the nose is what you have to this kind of a pigmentation on the nose is what you should basically remember chikungunya is what you should remember now doctor the reading of this following test when do you want to do this following test after how much time do you want to do is following test ko kya bolte hain doctor इसको कहते हैं पैच टेस्ट पैच टेस्ट राइट नाउ टिपिकली पैच टेस्ट इज डन बिटवीन 48 एट अवर्स एंड नाइनटी सिक्स अवर्स इज वॉट यू हैव टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर पैच टेस्टिंग इज डन बिटवीन 48 एट अवर्स टू नाइनटी सिक्स अवर्स दस अ पॉइंट शैंकर रिडक्स इज अ क्लिनिकल फीचर ऑफ इयरली रिलैपसिंग सिपलिस का फीचर जब भी सिफिलिस होता है प्राइमरी सिफिलिस ए शैंकर डेवलप्स थ्री वीक्स आफ्टर इंफेक्शन हाउ डज इट डेवलप पेनलेस इंडोरेटेड इरोडेड पैफ्यूल होता है प्राइमरी सिफिलिस में हाउ इज द लिंफेडिनोपैथी फर्म नॉन टेंडर इज द लिंफेडिनोपैथी हीलिंग विद इन वन टू फोर मंथ्स नाउ व्हाट इज फेजिडेनिक शैंकर इफ द शैंकर लीड टू सिवियर डिस्ट्रक्शन then there can be edema induret induretiva then any early relapse is called as shanker redux in primary syphilis is what you have to be very sure about topical steroids are most effective in which situation any ectop eczematous dermatitis whenever atopic dermatitis is there corticosteroids are the mainstay of therapy you can give creams ointments tramsinolone hydrocortisone betamethasone they all can be given is what you should remember a patient from uttarakhand is having fever and myalgia you have started iv ceftriaxone later you notice the cutaneous lesions blackish scar in the axilla what is your diagnosis scar means you should only think of scrub typhus scrub typhus is what you should basically remember so doctor 115 online students 12 baje se 2 baje tak almost 2 and 1/2 hours we had been having a very nice debate and uh, the good part is you have not gone to any coaching center you are not gone to any far away place जहा लंच के लिए ब्रेक लेना पड़ता घर में बैठ के लाइक स्विग्गी इज डिलीवर्ड टू होम होम टू होम डिलीवरी ऑफ नॉलेज राधर आई शुड से माइंड टू माइंड डिलीवरी ऑफ द नॉलेज राइट सो आई एम सो थैंकफुल टू ऑल दिस हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन ऑनलाइन व्यूअर्स डोंट लीव we are going to crack another 100 mcqs abhi story ka shuruaat hua right so i am going to give you the next quiz of uh, 50 questions nasir ji we are not done we hum to 4 baje 6 baje tak baithenge magar khatam karke jayenge are you all having that energy sure yes doc so we will take up the quiz you are all ready nasir ji thank you mat bolo hum khatam nahi hua we did not get the academic orgasm next quiz 50 mcqs alek shet orders next 50 bout of questions excellent doctor aims may 2019 we are rocking the strong discussion 38 questions doctor i will give you 20 seconds time for each of you to punch answers huh so 
otherwise yeah 20 seconds is okay 20 seconds should be okay right and um, yes so answering the questions is important doctor Aap, uh, unless you answer actively think about the question then only this discussion bahut mazalta. Without attending, answering, agar discussion attend kare to, after some time you feel sleepy. So I don't let you, any one of you to sleep, right? I am like that, uh, uh, yesterday I was enjoying, almost morning 5.45 a.m. Across the night I was preparing for the today's class. Che baje, before sleeping I thought, Arre ba, 10 o'clock to only 2-3 hours is okay. Discussion karna mushkil hai, isliye bara baje shuru karenge socha, right? So good thing is, uh, all the students are there in uh, the WhatsApp group. That is the reason it is very easy to communicate with you guys about any delay of the class. So, iska na sound lagayenge, bomb ka sound lagayenge. Aur 20, 20 seconds laga raho, Devi or Sajano or um, random bars karenge. But yeah. So apply to all. Very good. So doc, you have 38 questions and uh, next 12 minutes you are going to punch your answers and after that we will take discussion. Right? Our discussion is going to be up to almost all 6 o'clock that we are going to have a review to complete this uh, entire aims ka kya pucha dekh lenge aur fir we will reinforce ourselves for a better preparation with a better focus that is a whole idea all the time so doctor let's start the game sound aana chahiye na Punch your answers, doctor. I'll be vanishing out of the game. And uh, after 12 minutes, once you answer these 36 questions, I'm going to join back with you in the discussion. It is the, it is your time show now.
excellent doctor. <clears throat> so, very good. A good number of you have uh, very, very patiently answered the questions. Now, let's get into the discussion. <clears throat> Yes, Sundaram Tyagi, Sanarya Singh, uh, Niranjan Kumar and many more who are all online. Yes, we are once more back for a historical discussion on AIMS May 2019. <clears throat> now, Um, some of you have attended our uh, marathon session in anatomy almost all two weeks we have discussed the anatomy uh, question bank of the last 15 years of uh, neat MDS question bank if you those who have attended that session no worries those who missed it it is all available in the online mbvs.com video library so much of repetition of the questions topics is typically seen once more in the um, AIMS May 2019 uh, discussion. So it's all about the standard questions. Let's make the great beginning. Which of the following doesn't happen in the 5 to 3 direction? Rather, it happens in 3 to 5 direction is the examiner's question. <clears throat> Sashi Prakash is asking, sir, uh, how to join the WhatsApp group that you are mentioning? Yes, this is the WhatsApp link, uh, Sashi. Very good. So, while this session is happening since morning, there are almost eight new students across the country who have taken the subscription. Who purchased the subscription of uh, top need PG in 120 days which is the secret formula for uh, winning the MD entrance exam so if some of you are also new 9000868356 this is our helpline number please give a call whatever the comfortable price that you can pay we will be more than happy to customize it and uh, offer you a subscription which gives access to 600 hours of video lecture content and uh, the daily mock tests, discussions, etc, etc. And all these discussions we will also archive into the online MBBS.com. So now, doctor, RNA editing. RNA editing happens in 3 to 5 direction. So RNA editing ka matlab kya hota hai? DNA se RNA is basically formed. RNA translates to form the proteins. But this RNA which is being formed, doctor, can further be altered, changed, which is called RNA editing. And uh, during the time of translation, the modulation of the gene expression happened because of the RNA editing. So initially when DNA forms the RNA, you have a splicing reaction, splicing. 
So splicing is like cut and paste and uh, RNA editing is like a spell checker is what you need to remember. So this typically the direction of this is typically 3 to 5 direction main RNA editing hota hai, which is a favorite question of the examiner. Chimeric DNA, where do we use? We use it in organ transplantation. So if you take a transplant bone marrow from a donor pig, put it into human and you make pig blood cells to become part of the human recipient's immune system, then that creates a pig human immune chimeric system which is quite often used here, especially in hematopoietic stem cell transplantation you will be using the chimeras is what you have to understand a bodybuilder starts eating raw egg raw egg raw egg ke andar kya hota hai doctor evidin and evidin prevents the absorption of the folate and folate is required for all carboxylases folate is required a lot of you have attended our uh, biochemistry discussion. All those videos are made available in the online mbbs.com video library. Vitamins jo hota hai, top highest questions, first highest questions in the entire biochemistry comes from the vitamins. Vitamin B1, thymine, folate, which biochemical reactions it is involved everything you should review doctor there is about 30 hours of review discussion spread into around five days in online mbbs.com kindly do the revision right so what are all the carboxylases where there is a involvement of uh, the biotin i mean uh, of the uh, biotin biotin so you should remember uh, sorry, it is not uh, folate by it's an error of uh, uh, spell. So, evidin inhibits biotin, we are talking about acetyl coa carboxylase, propionyl coa carboxylase, pyruvate carboxylase, methyl crotonyl carboxylase, coa carboxylase, all these things. Very good. So, doctor, this is the advantage of uh, our uh, live online session home tea you can sip instead of canteen tea in a live face-to-face uh, -face class right yes um, so biotin is very important then which shows a functional assessment of B1 deficiency? It is a biscuit question, very easy question. So you should all know that it is the RBC transketolase. Keep punching the answers, doctor. Ritu, thanks for correcting me about evidin and biotin. Yes, biotin is a coenzyme of carboxylase. RBC transketolase is thymine. Now, what does the central dogma say? DNA is transcribed into RNA which is subsequently translated into proteins. Retrovirus shows a reverse transcriptase where RNA is first converted to DNA and DNA is then becoming uh, RNA which is converted into protein. Yeah, both assertion reason are true statements but mother, reason is not uh, the reason of the assertion. So that is the point the uh, examiner want to know. <clears throat> so the DNA gives RNA, RNA gives protein. Ye hota hai. Central dogma is what you need to understand. Which is that citric acid cycle intermediate which is the part of the heme metabolism. So you should know heme kaise banta hai. Succinyl coa plus glycine forms amino level on it. Amino level ionate synthetase is the first enzyme. Usme se amino levulinate, porphobilinogen, uroporphyrinogen 3, 
Coproporphyrinogen 3, protoporphyrinogen 3, protoporphyrin and heme. Porphyry adopted uh, is one topic. Simi, don't worry, biochemistry. No subject is pathetic, doctor. It's all kelte kelte panna hai. Kuch cheeze batti maarna hai. Kuch tables ko ek 200 pages notebook mein likh lena hai. That is very important. So no worries, Simi. In fact, if you go to the uh, onlinembbs.com, doctor, you have the biochemistry. Lot of, there are totally about 30 topics, doctor. Very important topics in uh, biochemistry. So, our top NEET PG in 120 day program is biochemistry. Ha, biochemistry is hai. Yeah, I will right away tell you, Simi, what are the hot topics in biochemistry that you should master. Always remember, always remember, vitamins, highest number of questions come in the topic of vitamins. I am navigating you through the online mbbs.com video library. Top NEET PG in 120 day program folder may home. Vitamins, cofactors, carbohydrate structure, glycolysis, then take a biochemistry daily test, Lelo. Then oxygen dissociation curve, Cori cycle, citric acid cycle, electron transport chain, second day ka day two test, Lelo. Then glute receptors, galactosemia, fructose metabolism, gluconeogenesis. Five topics for the CV. So you will become expert in biochemistry in no time. Then glycogen metabolism, Mucopolysaccharidosis, HM patient. Then every topic, ka, agar glycogen metabolism, agar aap liye to, preview. You also can preview some of the videos before you buy the subscription. You have the video lecture available, right? And then after that, you have the uh, jo lecture hai, us lecture ka PPT is available. So you can nicely run through the PPT solve all these questions of all India aims on that particular topic of uh, the glycogen metabolism that's how you became expert up uh, six days if you spend six days may from day uh, 15 to day 21 six days may hum aapko biochemistry ka champion bana denge okay so no worries at all Every subject is easy provided you know what to read, how deep to read and how to remember, how to recollect, what are the things to be entering into the 200 pages notebook of the mind. That is all the secret. Now the catalytic efficiency of an enzyme, how do you express it? It is the K cat by Km. Achha bhaiya, K cat kya hota hai? K cat is the first order rate constant that describes enzyme substrate how does it become enzyme and product it is also called turnover number k cat go turnover number kate because it describes the number of reactions that a molecule of an enzyme can catalyze per second under optimal condition if you look at the k cat it is typically between 10 square to 10 to the power of 1 per second and uh, enzyme plus substrate become enzyme substrate that translates into enzyme plus product is ko kete hai k cat is what you should remember now comes the question k cat by km kya hota hai k cat by km is a measure how the enzyme performs when the substrate concentration is low so k cat by km describes what is the enzyme preference for various substrates? So that's the reason it is also called substrate specific uh, constant is specificity constant kate. Now this uh, K cat by Km is the diffusion limit 
that is the rate at which the e enzyme and substrate diffuse together. So K cat by Km is a uh, substrate specificity constant and it is more physiological than the K cat is the point you need to understand. So the catalytic efficiency of an enzyme is best expressed by K cat by Km is what you have to ultimately remember. Now doctor, what is the type of mutation that you see in sickle cell anemia? Always a beta thalassemia or sickle cell anemia just may beta chain ka dikkat hai. A soap cheese hota hai. Point mutation is what you should remember. Now, how do you measure the anatomical dead space? We use single breath nitrogen washout. Single breath nitrogen washout. Very simple hai. Fundamentally, if you take uh, the single breath nitrogen washout in the phase one, so fundamentally you are calculating what is the nitrogen concentration. The nitrogen concentration is close to 0% because that is the time where it represents anatomical dead space. During the phase two, there is a sharp rise in the nitrogen concentration because the dead space gas mixes with the resident alveolar gas. Phase 3 represents the alveolar gas and the expired nitrogen concentration and it begins to plateau. And finally phase 4, there is once more a steep rise in nitrogen concentration as the most poorly ventilated areas start emptying. And this is also the point where the small airways start to uh, and uh, that is called the closing volume is what you need to remember. So phase 4 ka jo bhi volume hai usko closing volume ka de. So that is the reason the anatomical dead space is calculated through the phase 1 of the nitrogen concentration in the single breath nitrogen washout test is what you have to remember. Phase 1, Phase 2, Phase 3, Phase 4. Phase 4 ke time pe hota hai closing volume. Once more, examiner aapko ek question deke. Closing volume means Phase 4 ka time hai ya Phase 3 ka hai ya Phase 2 ka ya Phase 1 ka bolke poochega. So aap confidently bolna examiner ko mujhe malum hai single breath nitrogen test mein Phase 4 ka hota hai closing volume. Many times we discuss this in our regular class. Now, doctor, which is not a monomeric intermediate filament? Desmin, keratin, bimentin, they are all intermediate filaments. So, typically they are monomers, and uh, you have cytokeratins. Where do you see cytokeratins, doctor? Cytokeratins. Uh, they are seen on the epithelial cells which provide mechanical strength. They are intermediate filament proteins. Vimentins, which is found on the mesenchymal cells. Desmin which is found on the muscle cells. And the proteins of neurofilaments in neurons and the nestin on the neurons and the laminin ABC under the nuclear envelope. They are all considered to be the intermediate filament proteins is what you have to remember. Abhi aagaya hamara favorite question. Optic pathway ka first order neuron kaha hai Babuji? Question number 11. Please punch your answers from the, the online classmates. Please punch your answer so that my jara extensively jana is bar is topic ke baare mein ya fatafat jana malum padega right? Your answers help me to iterate the length of discussion. Very good. Deepika thinks photoreceptors. Harjinder Singh, Satya, Alexeth. Medico is saying A. Right? Uh, Navajan Kumar says A. Sundaram says A. Deka, 
आप अकेले बैठ के एम करें तो भूल जाएगा मगर ग्रुप में बैठ के हमारे साथियों का आंसर्स देख रहे तो ये वर्सेस डी ये वर्सेस डी बीजेपी वर्सेस कांग्रेस व्हाट इज द आंसर यू हैव बी वेरी श्योर है दस रीजन बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ ए ग्रुप एक्टिव एकेडमिक ग्रुप एवरी डे इवनिंग सेवन टू इलेवन पी एम we will have a live online discussion youtube.com/onlinemvbs pe right so it is the bipolar cell doctor bipolar cell dekhiye sensory end organ is the rods and cones they are the nerve endings in the they are the nerve endings neurons of the first order are the ones which are lying in the bipolar layer of the retina similar to the posterior root ganglia in case of uh, somatic sensation somatic sensation right neurons of second order it lies in ganglion cells of retina similar to in somatic sensation where do you have in the gracile and cuneatus dorsal columns hai na doctor उसका काउंटर पार्ट होता है गैंगलियन सेल्स ऑफ द रेटिना न्यूरॉन्स ऑफ द थर्ड ऑर्डर दे लाई इन द जेनिकुलेट बॉडी लेटरल जेनिकुलेट बॉडी मीडियल जेनिकुलेट बॉडी इन दोनों में उच्च जेनिकुलेट बॉडी इज फॉर द आइस डॉक्टर आइस मीडियल रहता मगर लेटरल जेनिकुलर बॉडी ऑडिटरी इयर्स लेटरल रहता मगर उसका जेनिकुलेट बॉडी है मीडियल जेनिकुलेट बॉडी don't make this mistake okay i mean don't make a mistake lateral geniculate body is for vision middle geniculate body is for audition aur ek baat colliculi superior colliculi inferior colliculi i don't know how many of you are from andhra pradesh telangana humko ek kahawat hai superior colliculus sustadi inferior colliculus intadi इंटरदी का मतलब है इट विल लिजन सुस्तदी मीन्स इट विल सी सुपीरियर कॉलिकलेस सीस इंफीरियर कॉलिकलेस हियर्स दैट इज वॉट यू हैव टू फंडामेंटली रिमेंबर देन यू हैव ए मीडियल लेमनिस्कस लैटरल लेमनिस्कस लेमनिस्कस क्या होता है लेमनिस्कस इज द वन विच इज कैरिंग ऑलवेज सेकेंड ऑर्डर न्यूरोन्स को कैरी करने वाले पात को कहते हैं सेकेंडरी सेकेंड ऑर्डर न्यूरॉन्स को कैरी करने वाले पात को कहते हैं लेमनिस्कस आपका मीडियल लेमनिस्कस इज एसोसिएटेड विथ यूर सोमैटिक सेंसेशन डोर्सल कॉलम डोर्सल कॉलम्स बिकम मीडियल लेमनिस्कस बट लेटर लेमनिस्कस इज द वन विच इज एसोसिएटेड विथ यूर ऑडिटरी पाथवे इज वॉट यू हैव टू अल्टीमेटली रिमेंबर सो दिस इज द स्टोरी अबाउट द कॉलिकुलाइट जेनिकुलेट बॉडी एंड लेमनिस्काई डॉक्टर राइट हाँ सो और एक बार फटाफट बोलो बाईपलार सेल्स ऑफ दिना क्या होता है मेरे साथ बोलो फर्स्ट ऑर्डर न्यूरोन गैंगलियन सेल होता है सेकेंड ऑर्डर न्यूरोन एंड द लेटरल जेनिकुलेट बॉडी लेटरल जेनिकुलेट बॉडी होता है थर्ड ऑर्डर न्यूरोन इज वॉट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर राइट हाँ Now, I one twenty five labeled albumin. Where do we use it in order to calculate the plasma volume? So there is a indicator dilution method, doctor. Indicator dilution method. I one twenty five labeled the human serum albumin, Evans Blue. They are for the plasma volume. And uh, hematocrit is by the red cell volume. red cell volume so the radio isotopes of 51 chromium labeled erythrocytes are the ones which are used for calculating the red cell volume a radio nucleides ka uh ke bare mein examiner pakka pakka puchega now which hormone has to cross the plasma membrane in order to show its action So obviously, hormones either act on the cytoplasm or on the nucleus. So, 
if you take hormones like thyroxine they go all the way into the nucleus and act on the nuclear receptors so what are those which are called intracellular nuclear receptor family bolke kisko bolte cortisol estrogen progesterone vitamin d thyroid retinoic acid receptor ye sare cheeze intracellular nuclear receptor super family is what you have to remember now doctor which is an example of a feed forward mechanism feed forward bole to feedback means you know right what is feedback mechanism feedback mechanism means uh you have kissed somebody after that aapko tension aa gaya and you started shivering after kissing wo hota hai feedback but you have seen somebody you want to kiss and shivering shuru ho gaya that is feed forward best example is you are ready to jump into the swimming pool abba oh, kitna thanda hai bol ke feeling aata so that is example of feed forward mechanism is what you have to basically remember so feed forward hota hai a direct effect of the stimulus on the control system even before the action of the feedback signal comes that become feed forward is what you need to remember shivering before diving into the cold water now correct akila rightly says feed forward is a anticipatory mechanism absolutely where is the rhythm for inspiration let me tell you once more regulation of respiration is a holy grail is a great topic favorite topic har ek entrance exam mein aims and all india neet pg mein definitely aane wala topic hai right so मैंने बोला ना 300 में आपको 250 टॉपिक्स टॉपिक्स शूर शॉट होते हैं इसके बिना पेपर नहीं रहता राइट सो इट इज़ द द प्री बोट्जिंगर कॉम्प्लेक्स इज़ कॉल्ड रिदम जनरेटर ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन इज व्हाट यू शुड रिमेंबर सो द रिदमिक रेस्पिरेशन व्हिच इज जनरेटेड बाय द पेस मेकर सेल्स इन द प्री बोटिंगर कॉम्प्लेक्स in the medulla is what you have to basically remember and where is the bodzinger complex doctor nucleus ambiguous and lateral reticular nucleus ye dono ke beech mein nucleus ambiguous and lateral reticular nucleus ke beech mein medulla ke cross section liye to aapko pre bodzinger complex wahan rahega which is the generator of the inspiration is what you should remember now what are the correct sequence after jvp i mean jvp once more doctor jvp ke bina kabhi question paper hai kya ha huh? so humne ek 40 minutes lagatar discussion kiya jvp ke bare mein pura dnb all india aims pga sare questions ko previous questions last 15 years ka leke आपको टॉप नीट पीजी इन वन ट्वेंटी डेज प्रोग्राम में मिल जाएगा ऑनलाइन एमबीबीएस डॉट कॉम में रिव्यू करना जेवीपी कंपलसरी क्वेश्चन टॉपिक है अच्छा बोलिए ये वेव ये वेव होता है एट्रियल कंट्रैक्शन देन यू आर हैविंग एन एक्स डिसेंट व्हिच इज बिकॉज एट्रियल रिलैक्सेशन वेंट्रिकल स्टार्टेड कंट्रैक्शन देन द यू गेट द Uh, v wave v wave is because the filling of the atria uh filling of the atria with the blood from all the great veins and after that you get a y descent which is because of uh, the ventricle uh emptying i mean it is because the en- emptying of the atria into the ventricles atria ventricles may empty karega blood ko that is called as the y descent अगर कार्डियक टेम्पोनेड हो गया पूरा ब्लड हार्ट के 
सराउंडिंग एरिया में हो गया वॉट विल हैपन एट्रिया के नॉट एम टी इन टू देंट्रिकल ड्यूरिंग डायस्टोली ऑफ देंट्रिकल इसको कहते हैं वेंट्रिकुलर डायस्टोलिक कोलैप्स इसलिए हाउ विल बी दाई डिसेंट इन केस ऑफ कार्डिया टेम्पोनेट वाई डिसेंट इज एबसेंट इन केस ऑफ कार्डिया टेम्पोनेट इज वॉट यू हैव टू बेसिकली रिमेंबर वेरी गुड सो we have uh burn bum bijalio badhiya so doctor uh examiner is asking what is the sequence what is the relation between carotid pulse venous pulse heart sounds and ekg so ye wave ke baad ye wave ke baad aapko first heart sound sunai dega so first heart sound means what closure of av valve the closure of the av valve is the beginning of the ventricular systole right ventricular systole where the blood is pushed into aorta starts after the closure of the first av valve that is the first heart sound so first heart sound follows the a wave is what you have to remember so you have the r wave then first heart sound rapid ejection and then depolarization of the ventricle that is the t wave so these are the things that typically follow t wave is last to come then after the a wave you get the r wave on the ecg then comes the first heart sound so this is the order which you need to remember now doctor few things about the kidney kidney mein different arteriolar construction so aapka glomerulus yahan hai iska afferent arteriole efferent arteriole hai efferent arteriole blood ko piche le ja rahe afferent arteriole la rahe hain so afferent i mean efferent arteriole agar constrict ho gaya to then what will happen that decreases the renal blood flow renal blood flow then uh, mesangial cell contraction agar mesangial cells contract hue to that decreases the bowman's capsular hydrostatic pressure that is the point you need to basically understand so doctor what favors the filtration from the glomerulus is an important question it is favored by hydrostatic pressure of the glomerulus whereas the colloid osmotic pressure of the blood is the one which is opposing it and similarly hydrostatic pressure in the bowman's capsule also will oppose it so what favors hydrostatic pressure in the glomerulus favors whereas the colloid osmotic pressure of the blood blood want to retain the plasma it doesn't want to give it into the filter into the filtrate so opposed by the colloid osmotic pressure similarly hydrostatic pressure also will be opposing the glomerular filtration is what you have to basically remember now if you look at the mesangial cells in ka teen functions hota hai they contract and control the blood flow they are the phagocytic cells and they form the matrix and secrete the inflammatory mediators that is the function of mesangial cells so jab mesangial cells contract hota hai what will happen that will decrease the surface area of the basement membrane and it decreases the glomerular filtration not increase decreases the glomerular filtration that is what you have to remember so doctor this is the endothelium the fenestrated endothelium of the glomerular capillaries this is the basement membrane this is the epithelium here you have the mesangial cell the mesangial matrix and uh, this mesangial cell contraction typically will decrease the surface area of this basement membrane of the basement membrane and that is the reason it will decrease the glomerular filtration rate is what you have to ultimately remember so doctor what is the normal glomerular hydrostatic pressure 55 millimeters of mercury 
55 millimeters of mercury and the blood colloid osmotic pressure 30 millimeters of mercury capsular hydrostatic pressure 15 millimeters of mercury these are the values that you have to emphatically remember right now the next question afferent fiber for the blood pressure control where does it go how is our marrow receptor reflex mediated nucleus tractus solitarius is a common viscerosensory nucleus for three cranial nerves n for ninth glossopharyngeal t for tenth vagus s for seventh facial a tinoca common nucleus high nucleus tractus solitarius yeah both the glossopharyngeal and the vagus both of them are associated with nucleus tractus solitarius that is the point where all afferents for the blood pressure control will go and uh, report the story as to what is happening everywhere in the periphery is what you need to remember so doctor this is the central nervous system you are having the nucleus tractus solitarius sitting over here and all the arterial baroreceptors they come here and report that the nucleus tractus solitarius is what you need to basically remember Hepcidin acts on which receptor to decrease the iron absorption? Hepcidin is a hepcidin is a negative iron controller. So now the question comes: where do you how does basically hepcidin act? It acts on the receptor called ferroportin, is what you need to basically remember. So this is the liver doctor. So hepatocytes, adipocytes, myocardiocytes, a soap is a hepcidin ka production karne ka ability hai in logon ko. So the moment iron comes and um, um, iron is here, iron need to get uh, absorbed, right? So enterocytes, macrophages, placental cells, they all will take the iron. So here you have what is called ferroportin receptor. If you are in an iron overloaded state, you don't want iron absorption. So immediately liver will produce hepcidin, hepcidin will cap on them and prevent the iron absorption, decrease the iron absorption is what you should remember. So doctor, this is the central story. That is, um, you are having the hepcidin. Hepcidin is produced by hepatocytes. And hepcidin will act on the gut, inhibit the ferroportin and decreases the iron absorption and increase the iron loss. Similarly, hepcidin acts on the splenic macrophages and inhibits the ferroportin. And um, these are the important uh, functions of hepcidin and ferroportin combination. So, whenever there is a low hepcidin iron uptake, garma garam hota hai. But if there is high hepcidin, the iron uptake get affected because ferroportin is being inhibited by hepcidin is what you have to remember now doctor what are all the hormones that act on the pancreas secretin cholecystokinin gip they all act on the pancreas doctor so fata fata bolna gastrin who produces gastrin g cells in stomach and what is the target it acts on parietal cells and what does it stimulus stimulates I mean, what is the stimulus for the release of gastrin? All those amino acids released from the peptides and the gastrin releasing peptide, acetylcholine, they all stimulate, stimulate gastrin. Whereas somatostatin is the inhibitor of the gastrin. Fundamental concepts. Cholecystokinin, cholecystokinin. So endocrine cells of the small intestine neurons of the brain and gut they produce even neurons of the brain and gut also 
So the target is it goes and acts on gallbladder and pancreas and gastric smooth muscle. And it stimulates the gallbladder contraction making the bile to get released. It inhibits the gastric emptying. It inhibits and it promotes the intestinal motility. That is the cholecystokinin. And what stimulates the cholecystokinin production? Fatty acids and amino acids. And what inhibits it? Somatostatin. Then similarly secretin. Secretin also acts on pancreas and stomach. It inhibits the gastric emptying just like the cholecystokinin. And who stimulates secretin? It is the acid. It is the acid in the small intestine which is the stimulant and somatostatin inhibits. Gastric inhibitory peptide, who produce them? The endocrine cells of the small intestine. And it acts on the beta cells of the endocrine pancreas. And who stimulates the gastric inhibitory peptide? It is the glucose, fatty acids, amino acids in the small intestine. Then finally motilin. Motilin is produced by the endocrine cells in the small intestine. And it's and what makes motilin? What, what is the effect of motilin? It stimulates migrating motor complex. And uh, the target is it acts on the smooth muscle of the antrum and duodenum. And what stimulates the motilin production? Fasting. There is a periodic release every one and a half to two hours because of a neural stimulus that makes the motilin get released. So doctor. Padana dhyan se dil aur man ke andar concepts ko assimilate karna. Darna mat ki ye sab chize ye pura tabla open hoga ya nahi hoga exam mein yaad aayega ya nahi aayega. Kuch bhi parvah mat nahi karna. Fikar mat nahi karna. Always remember fear, anxiety brings the loss of memory. Lord Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita. Right? So that is the reason. It is inevitable. There are certain important uh, uh, concepts which are inevitable. Only until entrance exam we have no other way than to remember them. Okay, Doc? Achha. Abhi iska answer bolo. Sara, Kaderi, Vivek, Kumar, Satish, Lanka, everyone wake up from the sleep. Jago. Neen se jago mere yaro. Golgi tendon organ. Please punch your answers. Senses. Which of the following? Golgi tendon organ. Excellent. Alek Seth. Satish Lanka. Vivek. Ran Ranjit Shah. Everyone. Uh, that's right. Ranjit Shah says somatostatin D cells. Dolly. Mayank, everyone is saying tension. Absolutely, doctor. May is ke pehle bhi aap sab ko bola. Abhi bhi bol rao. Muscle spindles, Golgi tendon organs, afferent fibers, efferent fibers. Ye jo topic rehta na, doctor. Garma garam panda. Without that, there is no question paper. Right? So Golgi tendon organ is that capsular structure which is located in the muscle tendon. Tendon of the muscle ke andar rehta hai. It is connected in series, in series with the extrafusal skeletal muscle fibers. Always skeleton ke andar intrafusal, extrafusal bol ke concept rehta. Core muscle fibers of the muscle are extrafusal. Uske andar rehta hai sense karne ke liye stretch ko. Intrafusal fibers. So, a Golgi tendon organs, they detect the changes in the muscle tension is what you need to basically remember. So, the Golgi tendon organs, Golgi tendon organs, uh, typically are located at the point where muscle fibers are inserting into the tendon and the primary purpose of them is to protect the muscle from overexertion. Now muscle spindle versus Golgi tendon organ. Abhi Alek Seth Mahagyani Banjayega 2 minute mein is topic ke upar. 
मजल स्पिंडल क्या होते हैं डॉक्टर यू हैव थ्री टू ट्वेल्व और मोर इंट्राफ्यूजल फाइबर्स और मजल स्पिंडल्स एंड दे हैव ए पैरल अटैचमेंट टू द शीट्स ऑफ द एक्स्ट्राफ्यूजल फाइबर सो मजल स्पिंडल हैव ए पैरल अटैचमेंट एंड गॉल द टेंडर्स आर इन सीरीज दैट्स अ पॉइंट so stretch of the muscle is detected by the muscle spindle whereas the muscle tension is detected by the golgi tendon organ is what you should remember so golgi tendon organ ko kitna tension hai bol ke malum padne ke baad how does it tell the spinal cord it is the 1b 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 golgi tendon organ is what you have to remember 1b afferent 1b afferent uh, is the one which carries this information to the spinal cord about the tension generated in the muscle is what you have to understand so doc adrenal gland of the female exclusively taiyar karne wala hormone kaun kya hai dihydroxy epi androstein sulfate so if you look at the adrenal cortex you have male sex hormones dihydroxy epi androstein dhea sulfate 11 beta hydroxy androstein dione and um, androstein dione female sex hormones are estrogen and progesterone produced by the adrenal cortex so whenever a female develops hirsutism hyperandrogenemia hai to टू सोर्सेस हो सकता ओवेरियन एंड्रोजेंस और एड्रिनल एंड्रोजेंस सो दिस डाइहाइड्रोक्सी एपी एंड्रोस्टीन सल्फेट इट इज प्रोड्यूस सोनली इन द एड्रिनल ग्लैंड दैट इज द पॉइंट एग्जामिनर इज ट्राइंग टू आस्क यू राइट सो नाउ डॉक्टर दिस आर ऑल द ब्रांचेस ऑफ द एक्सनल कैरोटिड विच आर सप्लाइंग द नेशल सेप्टम what are they nasal septum so if you look at the blood supply of the nasal septum doctor sino palatine greater palatine superior labial labial they all come from the uh, external carotid branches so this is our uh, nasal septum iske bare mein abhi hum charcha kar rahe internal carotid artery se ophthalmic artery niklega of thalamic artery gives rise to anterior and posterior chondral artery posterior chondral artery supplies posterior superior area of the septum and uh, anterior ichnoidal artery supplies the uh, anterior superior area then you have the external carotid artery doctor from external carotid artery se niklega facial artery and maxillary artery facial artery ka branch superior labial artery is the one which supplies the septal branch in the little area which is anterior inferior then the maxillary artery gives rise to greater palatine artery greater palatine artery also supplies the inferior anterior part of the that is the little area whereas the branches of the sino palatine artery they go and supply the posterior zone of the nasal septum so posterior zone ka blood supply kahan se aa gaya maxillary artery which is the branch of the external carotid artery maxillary artery is branch sino palatine artery is supplying it and similarly internal carotid soft thalamic artery whose branch is posterior ichnoidal artery is also supplying the posterior aspect is what you have to emphatically remember for the tomorrow's exam now with regard to the carotid sheath let us talk about the carotid sheath so where is the anser cervicalis and uh, what is the relationship of carotid sheath for all these nerves where does the sympathetic chain lie there are all the questions of the examiner many times we discussed with them so you should remember that it is the carotid sheath which is formed from the 
investing layer of the deep cervical fascia. Already we discussed this in our uh, 10 days we discussed uh, almost 2 weeks we discussed uh, anatomy. Hai na? Anatomy ka almost 700 MCQs uh, from 40 topics uh, we have done the discussion. It is all archived in the online MBBS.com. You can go back and review. So doctor, now if you look at the uh, carotid sheath, you have an internal carotid, only internal carotid and the common carotid. External carotid bahar niklega. Then you are having the vagus nerve and the internal jugular. Most laterally is internal jugular, is ke beach mein vagus rahega or most medial will be the internal carotid is what you should uh, basically remember. So, if you take a cross section, doctor, cross section of this story, your answer cervicalis is lying, is lying anterior to the carotid sheath. And sympathetic trunk is lying posterior to the carotid sheath. Posterior to the carotid sheath, magar carotid sheath ke andar raita hai vagus nerve which is in the middle of these two that is internal jugular and the internal carotid in dono ke beech mein hai magar posteriorly located hai so this is the cut section of the cut section of the carotid sheath that the examiner is very seriously interested about gotcha so anteriorly anthro cervical is posteriorly sympathetic trunk are the relations to the carotid sheath outside the carotid sheath so carotid sheath is a condensation of the fibroelar tissue of the deep cervical fascia it contains common carotid internal carotid internal jugular and vagus yes what you need to remember and uh, uh, yeah so now another question asked by the examiner where does common carotid bifurcate into the internal and external carotids? It is the upper, upper border of the thyroid cartilage per it will bifurcate typically opposite the C4 vertebra that is what uh, examiner is going to seriously ask you. So that solves most of the points in this uh, particular question yes so examiner kitna mean way puts puts is it lower level or upper level of thyroid cartilage well oh, thyroid cartilage ke level pe uh, bifurcate hota malum hona hi tension hai upar se upper border lower border exam is all about precision doctor right now which is the muscle not supplied by the nerve which is being shown this is midbrain se nikalte huye third oculomotor hai oculomotor does not supply the superior oblique which is supplied by the trochlear nerve this is the trochlear nerve trochlear is the only nerve that comes from the dorsal aspect of the brain stem from the dorsal aspect of the brain stem ek hi nerve nikalta hai sare cheeze ventral aspect se nikalta hai Trochlear is the only one that comes from the dorsal aspect of the brain stem is what you have to remember. Now, levator anai muscle is ke baare mein levator anai muscle, what is the story? So you should remember, it supports the pelvic viscera and uh, uh, it converges downwards and medially. And uh, iliococcygeus, pubococcygeus are the part of the levator anae. And uh, it is not attached to pelvic brain. Attachment of it is to the opposite side. Opposite side mein rehne wale levator anae se unka gadbandan hota hai. Aur piche ja ke cossix ko, cossix is the point of uh, insertion is what you have to basically remember now the nerve to levator is s4 
and also inferior rectal branch of pudendal nerve also supplies. So origin hota hai posteriorly from ischial spine, ischial spine and uh, pubic bone and the tendinous arch of obturator fascia, they are the source of origin and it supports the rectum hota na doctor, rectum aake anus banega na. So typically you have the anorectal angle ko support karta hai anus rectum anorectal angle ko support karta hai and it also has a spinteric function that is the story of levator ani now doctor a cut section of the heart dikhaya aapko isme you have to recognize where is the interpapillary muscle where is the moderator band where is the caudate tendinate trabeculae carne so cheese up you have to detect that is a challenge of this question so typically what you are seeing here ye are able to see this no doubt yes so this ye is anterior papillary muscle anterior papillary muscle then b is uh, moderator band so this is called as moderator band in the right ventricle then all these muscles are you are able to see no doubt they are all trabeculae carne and of course all of you know these are the uh, caudate tendine and mitral valve prolapse all of you know very well now what is the correct sequence of spermatogenesis doc? Spermatogonium becomes primary spermatocytes which are still 2N. Spermatocyte become spermatid with the meiosis 2, uh, with the meiosis 1 and uh, that is uh, haploid. And after that it becomes the mature sperm cell is what you need to remember. So that is the typical order. Now, what is the sequential arrangement of the eighth nerve pathway from periphery towards the center? So this is very important for you to know visual pathway and auditory pathway. Without that, there is no question paper. So from the cochlea nikalta hai eighth nerve and there is a ventral and dorsal cochlear nuclei ventral and uh, dorsal cochlear nuclei so from the cochlear nuclei they go to the opposite side and uh, reach superior olivary complex superior olivary don't confuse superior colliculi olivary are different olivary complex is my inferior superior reta hai a superior wala is associated with artery pathway inferior olivary nucleus is associated with cerebellum cerebellum so all the spinal cord information will be received by medulla and uh, the medulla communicates with the inferior cerebellar peduncle to the cerebellum and uh, which part of the medulla what is the part in the medulla which receives all the information from the spine? It is the inferior olivary nucleus, which in turn will pass through the inferior cerebellar uh, peduncle. All the information goes to cerebellum. So, I say inferior olivary nucleus is with the cerebellum. Superior olivary nucleus is the one which is associated with the, the uh, Auditory pathway is what you need to remember. So, when the fibers are passing from the cochlear nuclei to reach the superior olivary complex, a bundle ban jata. Ek bundle. Is bundle ko kete hai trapezoid body. And from the superior olivary nucleus, they ascend up. These are the second order neurons. Second order neurons. And uh, anything that carries second order neurons is called lemniscus. You remember na? So, isko kete hai lateral lemniscus 
and it reaches the inferior colliculus. Once more, a decussation of the hand, and it will typically reach the opposite side, inferior colliculus, and even send fibers to opposite medial geniculate body. Do bar hota hai decussation. Ek right become left, once more left to become right, right? So, uh, right become left in trapezoid body level mein. and once more there is a decussation at the level of the inferior collicular, collicular level also. So, it will reach the medial geniculate body and from the medial geniculate body it will go and report to the auditory cortex which is there in the area 41 is what you need to remember. That's right. Ranjit rightly says E. coli. Right? Huh. So, this thing upka mental picture right now. Examiner he question repeatedly puchega. Now, what is the action of the muscle which is attached to this marked area? What is this marked area? Greater trochanter. Greater trochanter ko gluteus medius is attached which is responsible for the abduction abduction of the thigh very very important activity so abduction greater trochanter gluteus medius the gluteus medius muscle jo hai wo aake greater trochanter se insert ho jayega underneath the gluteus maximus and this attachment is very useful for medius because it helps in abduction Magar gluteus maximus jo hai, iska main action kya hota doctor? Hip extension, hip extension, extension is the function of the gluteus maximus is what you need to remember. So once more doctor, the posterior ilium between superior and medial gluteal lines origin hoke, medius arche, Greater trochanter may insert hoke abduction ke liye help karta hai. That is very very important. Now, doctor, Coenart's classification. May is ke pehle bhi aapko bataya hai. Coenart's classification. Agar surgery or anatomy kahi na kahi ye aayega. Examiner chodega nahi aapko. How is the liver? All the segments are divided based on what? It is the portal veins that divide. So, aap yaha dekh lai, doctor. Ye hai aapka inferior vena keva. Isme aapko a right hepatic vein, middle hepatic vein, left hepatic vein, they are all draining into. Then here you are having the portal vein. Portal vein is the one which is making the branches. So, all these branches of the coenard, jo hota hai, it is the portal vein which is the divider, which is the divider is what you have to basically remember. So, doctor, this is one important uh, way you can remember. Hold your hand and this is your uh, typical portal plane. So, 2, 4, a, 7 and uh, 8. Right? Then you have the 6, 5, 4B, 3 and this is 1. So this is how you will be able to remember one of the favorite ways of remembering the Coenorts segments. Which is that finger which has two dorsal interosseae. Dorsal interosseae are important for abduction. Pad dab. Right? So aapka middle finger liye to two dorsal uh, interosseae are there is what you need to remember. Then doctor, what else is the function of interosseae? What else is the function of uh, interosseae? You hold your uh, uh, hand like, uh, I mean the, uh, hand like this doctor. So what is interphalangeal extension hai? Metacarpophalangeal level pe flexion hai, hai na? So, Lumbricals and interosseae. ये दोनों का काम क्या होता है? Interphalangeal, interphalangeal joint extension and metacarpophalangeal joint 
flexion mcp flexion and uh, interphalangeal extension isliye aap l name l kaise lagta na usko yaad rakhna that is the function of both lumbricals and dorsal interossei is what you have to remember very good doctor it is 345 almost past 4 hours we had been laboring to uh, master the aims are you still having energy is my question to all of you if you have energy another 30 questions ka quiz le lenge aur khelenge it all depends on you doctor you say sir sunday hai jara enjoy karenge break le lenge bole to waisa bhi kar sakte but i think one more uh, tequila shot we are all uh, on with it i think am i right no energy sir khatam ho gaya petrol khatam uh out alex says next 50 mcqs mayan says no very good so let me uh, let me get a no from another couple of you uh full of energy bro says vijay let us start sir ranjit uh one tequila says bijlo okay what do you say uh last one shot one more quiz and uh, discussion karke uh hum karyakram ko samapt kar sakte hain break break says sara kaderi okay doc i need to catch up with uh, one uh, quick social appointment at 5 uh, o'clock so we will ha uh, huh, vijay i agree with you bro till january rukenge nahi jhukeng sar jhukaye jhukenge nahi aur hum rukhenge nahi acha bahut badhiya ha huh? so uh, all right so tomorrow evening we will once more catch up at 7 uh, o'clock kal ke 7 to 11 session mein hum remaining 100 questions ko khatam karenge doctor so thank you so much for all of you for uh, making this a very fruitful discussion and also tell all your classmates to come tomorrow at 7 o'clock for part 2 of aims may 2019 question paper and uh, don't forget uh uh yes so don't forget uh this is our uh, <coughs> whatsapp whatsapp uh, study group link and this is our helpline number helpline number and uh, please call our helpline pay whatever that you can take a subscription into online mbbs.com video library top need pg in 120 days ke liye pucho and uh, every sunday we will have a grand test and discussion and uh, every day evening uh, whenever we have time we will have uh, a continuous ongoing discussions thank you so much to everybody yes